The story unfolds as, when martial arts cultivation was in its beginning stages, monsters and demons rushed out from various space rift portals and threatened the existence of every living creature on earth, and caused chaos everywhere. But in the midst of all this chaos, Lu Xing's consciousness traverses time and space, transporting him ten thousand years ahead in a dream world where the world had been destroyed by this massive catastrophe, leaving only ruins of civilization behind. The world was filled with several monsters, that rushed out of space rifts continuously. The traces of human civilization had been long gone. However, amidst all this chaos stood a man with immense power and an unshakable spirit. He stood before the giant monster with a calm demeanor with energy flowing out of his body. The monster looked like a colossal centipede, reaching the heavens with its size. The man's eyes blazed with bright energy as he took his stance to counter the colossal centipede. He just used a swift offensive technique, resulting in unleashing a devastating blow toward the monster. This seemingly heaven-defying blow incinerated everything in its way. The man looked like a martial arts grandmaster. A mystical glow can be seen radiating from his body. Have you ever woken up from a nightmare and found yourself in another nightmare? Lu Xing was now. Lu Xing! A stern voice exploded in his ears like a thunderclap. Lu Xing looked up dazedly his face still showing the bewilderment and confusion of having just woken up from sleep. All his classmates were laughing at him, for always sleeping in class. The middle-aged man on the podium pushed the glasses on the bridge of his nose and stared at him fiercely with a look seethed with hatred. There are just over two hundred days left before the college entrance exam. You don't even think about working hard for your exams, yet still have the heart to sleep in class? With this attitude, even if you graduate and go to a construction site to move bricks, they may not want you. Do you know what the minimum blood standard for cement workers on construction sites is these days? Lu Xing replied, Teacher, it's 0.8. And has your blood chi value reached 0.8? Lu Xing lowered his head, rubbing his swollen temples while obediently listening to the class teacher castigate him. The teacher then dismissed the class. As the students were leaving, the little fatty sitting in front of him turned his head to look at him. Having nightmares again? His name was Lu Qiming, and he was considered one of Lu Xing's few friends. Lu Xing nodded, not saying anything, but with a strong look of helplessness in his eyes. He had been dreaming the same dream frequently for three days. Lu Xing could not describe what kind of dream it was, only remembered that the scene in the dream was very dilapidated, desolate, and depressing. He stood bewildered on top of a wilderness, with roaming monsters all around. It was a nightmare, there was no doubt about it. Because after encountering this dream, he became very drowsy, and the quality of sleep turned incredibly poor. Although he slept for more than twelve hours a day, he looked like he had been sleep-deprived due to insomnia continuously for the past few days. So much so that during these three days, Lu Xing's blood chi value, BQV, had slipped by 0.02. Lu Xing's mood was simply terrible. Lu Xing, heading to the internet cafe, huh? Facing Lu Qiming's invitation, Lu Xing shook his head. No, I'm not going. I'll go home. Going home so early? It's not like your style. Let's go to the cafe. I'll pay for all the drinks and charges today. Lu Qiming patted his chest and sincerely invited but Lu Xing still shook his head and explained. I really don't want to go. I want to go back early to catch up on my sleep. You slept all day in class today, and you're still sleepy? Lu Qiming had an exaggerated expression on his face. Lu Xing did not bother to explain further. Lu Qiming still wanted to persuade Lu Xing when several boys called him from afar. Lu Qiming took a final look at Lu Xing and did not say anything else. He left Lu Xing and sped towards the other few boys running ahead. These people bustled towards the school's entrance and quickly scattered away in all directions. Lu Xing let out a soft sigh as the thoughts in his mind began to churn. He had almost forgotten that he had been living in this world for eighteen years. Lu Xing's memories of his previous life had turned very vague, and sometimes he even wondered if it was all just a dream. In that world of his previous life, there were no martial arts and there were no monsters that ran out of the cracks in the ground. The sun was setting down with a warm glow spreading over the city as Lu Xing reached his old apartment. 
Lu Xing pushed open the door to his home. He saw his dad, Lu Dehai, lying on the arm of the sofa, and his mother, Xin Yufen, tearing open a plaster to find a suitable spot on Lu Dehai's back. Lu Xing noticed his dad's patched up back, his eyes stung for a moment. He shouted, I'm home. Despite the injuries, his parents' faces lit up at the sight of their son. Lu Xing shook his head and dragged his school bag in the direction of his room. Lu Dehai quickly got dressed, but the bandages can clearly show the immense effort that he put into work to provide for his family. Lu Xing stopped halfway, turned his head to the sofa, and whispered, Why not go back to buy a blood mock Sebastian device? That thing can stimulate the blood, relax the tendons and activate the body. Massage healing will also be very useful. But his father, ever strong-willed, flexed his bicep and said, Hey, what kind of injury do you think I have? I will be fine in a few days. That is money that we might as well put aside and buy you tonics. Suddenly his father took out two small bottles which he presented to Lu Xing. It was a new medicine to increase blood value and it costs a huge amount of $20,000, which is a fortune for a family like theirs. Overwhelmed by his father's gentle care, Lu Xing struggled to hold back his tears. His parents asked him, How is your recent blood chi value? Did you break through to 0.85? I saw on the news today that the cutoff for this year's college entrance examination for undergraduates will be increased by 0.01. I know, I'll go back to my room to exercise. Lu Xing's chest immediately tightened as he heard those words, and he rushed into his room. Lu Xin closed the door to his room and breathed a sigh of relief. Only when he stayed in this small room that belonged to him alone did he have a chance to relax. Lu Xin put down his school bag, took off his coat and pants, and then sat down on the yoga mat. After calming down a bit, Lu Xin took a deep breath and silently recited in his heart. Thirteenth set of radio gymnastics, start. Subsequently, Lu Xin's body began to pose one movement after another. These movements were somewhat similar to yoga, but they were very different from yoga, and it was quite apt to use gymnastics to describe them. The World Martial Alliance's 24 forms of martial refinement are said to be created by the masters of the alliance based on ancient yoga, ancient martial arts, ancient jiu-jitsu, etc. They are most suitable for giving beginners in martial arts a foundation. Ever since the world changed drastically more than 300 years ago, when a rift appeared in heaven and earth, and numerous strange and horrible monsters emerged from the earth, and the trajectory of the world's development changed completely. After most of the thermal weapons lost their effectiveness in fighting the monsters, human beings began to look for new ways and means to defend themselves. Perhaps because of the emergence of monsters, and facing the enormous pressure of genocide, a certain genetic lock in the human body was broken. Individual strength rose to peaks that were never before thought possible. Martial arts developed at a rapid pace, changing day by day. But even so, on the battlefield, fighting against the monsters that encroached and swallowed up human territory, humans were still at an absolute disadvantage. And every day another town or city fell into the hands of these monsters, and the human population continues to dwindle. This is what the class teacher told Lu Xing and the others from time to time. Lu Xing stopped practicing those body movement exercises and sat on his yoga mat slowly adjusting his breathing. He did the 24 sets of body movements of the body refining technique three times in one breath. A thin layer of sweat perspiration out of his body, and his originally pale face had a few more patches of redness. So far, Lu Xing hadn't found the reason for his nightmares. Lu Xing rested while having nonsensical thoughts. While he was thinking, sleep came to him in tides and waves. Lu Xing unconsciously yawned, his eyelids drooped, and his body slowly lay down and gradually drifted off to sleep. The leaden gray sky, black earth, everywhere filled with a trace of gray fog. Depression, despair, and desolation were everywhere. The first thing that Lu Xing saw when he woke up was this scene in front of him. It's this nightmare again. Lu Xing was completely helpless. Lu Xing vigorously grabbed the flesh on his arms and face, trying to wake himself up from the dream, but to no avail. Unless a specific point in time did not meet, he would remain here, stuck in this nightmare. Very quickly, the gray mist not far to his left dispersed, 
and a tall, stiff human form appeared behind him. The figure's complexion was gray, the eye sockets had sunken deep inside. It had no eyes, only a pair of hollow sockets staring out. There is a long gash on its face. One could clearly see the gray facial bones, blackened flesh, and blood. The zombie jumped at Lu Xing, resulting in him collapsing on the ground. In previous nightmares, Lu Xing was in the process of constantly running away, escaping, and gradually losing consciousness, and then he'd wake up. But this time the zombie appeared beside him. So, there was no escape. The zombie opened its jaws to attack Lu Xing. But luckily, he avoided its attack. This time, Lu Xing changed his mind. No more running. Anyway, this is a dream, even if I'm bitten, it does not matter. If I die in the dream, I might wake up faster. Thinking on this line, Lu Xing simply took the initiative to take a big step. Wind God Kick! Lu Xing shouted the name of the move that he had read in the novel in his previous life. He gained momentum and kicked the tall zombie in the chest. The tall zombie thumped back, and its clumsy body became unstable under the huge impact. It fell on its back to the ground. With this kick, Lu Xing's confidence instantly increased. Lu Xing found a watermelon-sized stone a few meters away. Lu Xing grabbed the stone and aimed it at the head of the tall zombie. The weak point of the zombies in the movie is their heads, this should be okay. Lu Xing mumbled under his breath, and his hand pressed hard. The crisp sound of broken bones rang out. The watermelon-sized stone was embedded into the face of the tall zombie, and the body of the tall zombie twitched twice, and then it went completely motionless. Lu Xing could even feel the sound of his heart beating violently. This still doesn't seem to help me wake up. Lu Xing muttered and was about to move away. At the same time, he saw that the tall zombie in front of him collapsed like gravel, and quickly wither and disappear under a few breaths. And there were wisps of black threads of smoke steaming out from within the weathered corpse of the tall zombie. These quickly took an arrow-like form and fiercely rushed into Lu Xing's chest. Lu Xing was stunned. Before he had time to react, he felt a hot stream dispersing from his chest, accompanied by numerous strands of memories, like movie images, rapidly passing through his mind. The main character was a tall, handsome teenager. The first half of the movie seemed dull and boring, basically the images of the teenager's painstaking cultivation training. The second half became heavy, one battle after another. Each battle was accompanied by blood and death. One by one, the partners around the teenager diminished. The sky was always gray, sadness, and pain filled every inch of the memory. Finally, the picture was fixed in the broken city walls, the sky was covered with horrible beasts, and large swathes of black fog sweeping over. That world was about to be engulfed by darkness, and before the despair and depression, even Lu Xing could not help but be moved by it. Lu Xing slowly opened his eyes, and his head was filled with strong melancholy. It was as if he had watched a long movie. What the hell did this guy go through before he died? Lu Xing muttered and whispered. There was no doubt that the memory he had just received should be the memory of the tall zombie that he had killed before he was got reanimated. Also, why did I get his memories even though I killed him? Because it was in a dream? Lu Xing's heart churned with many doubts. Unfortunately, there was no one who could answer these questions, the answer to everything could only be found by himself. Lu Xing gathered his mood. Soon, another wandering zombie appeared in front of Lu Xing's eyes. This time Lu Xing was not afraid and directly dashed up to the zombie wearing a yellow helmet. With a swift technique, he snapped the head of the zombie unconsciously. Looking at the head of the zombie that rolled to his feet like a broken leather ball, Lu Xing froze for a moment. He looked at his hands, a little incredulous. When did I become so strong? Lu Xing recalled the series of movements he had just made. As if he had already used it countless times in real combat, it had almost become instinctive, and he used it subconsciously. That kind of precision and coldness was a realm he didn't even dare to think about before. Could it be that I absorbed the memories of the jumpsuit zombie? Lu Xing analyzed. Lu Xing absorbed his memories and naturally inherited his skills. It's simply unbelievable. Lu Xing couldn't help but sigh. Easily gaining someone else's lifetime experience if only this wasn't a dream. 
because it was a dream, whatever unimaginably incredulous events that occurred felt normal. It's strange to say that Lu Xing has obviously realized that he was dreaming, but he just couldn't wake up. At this time, the zombie that he had just killed began to wind up. The same arrows emerged from a black line of smoke and seeped into Lu Xing's body. Lu Xing hurriedly absorbed this part of the memory. This time the memory left Lu Xing with some disappointment. The helmet zombie was just an ordinary plumbing repairman before he was reanimated. The memories that interested him were very limited, almost nothing. The only thing of value was probably from the memories of the helmet zombie that showed that he and the jumpsuit zombie had come from the same place, base 1359. It looks like I need to find base 1359. Maybe there I can about the truth behind this dream, Lu Xing said to himself. He has now completely treated this dream as a puzzle plus upgrade type of game. Hunting the zombies roaming around the wilderness would provide him with the experience to upgrade, and the clues to proceed to the next step. As for what the clues point to, Lu Xing didn't know and didn't care. But at this time, a dull sound came to his ears. Bang, bang, bang. Along with this sound, Everything around Lu Xing became unreal and unstable. Lu Xing slowly opened his eyes. A violent smashing sound of the door woke up Lu Xing. He struggled to open his eyes and slowly tried to sit up. Then he heard a clear and cold female voice coming through the door. Dinner is ready! How long are you going to nestle in your room? Lu Xing stood up and opened the door. It was the voice of his sister, Lu Qingha. Lu Xing could imagine Lu Qing his current expression outside the door to his room. There was a trace of impatience within the coldness. Got it, be right there, Lu Xing answered. Lu Qing had always despised him as a brother. They had a better relationship during their childhood. Lu Xing was about to turn 18 this year, but his blood chi value was still 0.8 combat power index and practical combat class results were also a complete mess. But Lu Qingha was different. She had just turned 16 this year, but her last blood chi value test had already exceeded 1.0, her combat power index was over 100, and she was also very talented in practical combat. Following this trend, it would be possible for her to get a scholarship for a major in martial arts university in two years. The cliché combo of a mediocre brother and a genius sister. Perhaps in Lu Qingha's heart, if there wasn't the burden of her mediocre brother, she could have gotten all the family resources poured into her right now, and she could have reached an even greater level. At that moment, Lu Xing also regained his lucidity, and he became aware that he had just experienced another nightmare. But unlike in the past, this time, after the nightmare Lu Xing didn't feel any sense of discomfort anywhere. Instead, his physical condition was unexpectedly good. No sense of fatigue! No drowsiness, my whole body feels like it's full of energy. Lu Xing was a little surprised. He tried to remember everything he had experienced in the dream. Lu Xing swung his fist in the air. Even my strength feels like it has increased. A few moments later, Lu Xing was shocked. All those memories, those memories that I got from the zombies, I still remember them all vividly. The numerous combat skills that I inherited are all still deeply engraved into my muscle memory, so much so that this was especially unbelievable. If Lu Xing felt that his strength had increased, wouldn't that mean his blood chi value had also increased? The blood chi value can be increased like this through dreams. Lu Xing couldn't believe it, doubting that these were all just his own delusions. Naturally, the most direct way to verify whether it was real or not would be to go and do a full physical test. Let's eat first, then I'll go and find a martial arts training center to test it. Lu Xing quickly calmed down his excitement, cleaned up a bit, then walked out of his room. Lu Xing buried his head and gulped rice into his mouth, as if he had been starving for days. As he picked up the empty bowl he ate clean, handing it to his mother Xing Yufin to ask for another bowl, he suddenly noticed that the three people at the dinner table were looking at him in a strange way. Only then did Lu Xing realize that the amount of food he ate today does indeed seem to be excessive. Forget it, I'm full. Lu Xing hesitated for a moment, and was about to take the bowl back. But it was snatched away by Lu Dehai. What do you mean? How can you stay hungry at home? Wife, please go and cook another pot of rice and stir-fry two more dishes. 
Mother Jingyufen nodded and then stood up and left. Lu Dehai looked rather pleased, looking at Lu Xing with a smile, as he said. Boys tend to be like this when they are growing. They never feel full no matter how much they eat. The head goes up. Lu Xing nodded his head. How much can it be increased? He'll be eighteen soon. Next to him, Lu Qinghe shoved a spoon into her mouth while making a disdainful noise. After the meal, Lu Xing said a quick goodbye to his family and directly headed out the door. He couldn't wait to test his current values in all aspects. Han Chuan Martial Arts Hall! Lu Xing arrived at his destination following the navigation on his phone, stopping in front of the martial arts hall closest to his home. The martial arts hall wasn't very big, and even the decor was nothing special. It was just an ordinary private martial arts hall. The owner of this martial arts hall, Anai Hong Chuan, is a level 4 martial artist who specializes in traditional fist techniques, and he also was one of the top 10 in the 23rd Annual Beihai City Martial Arts Conference. The martial arts hall had an enrollment advertisement posted on the door that Lu Xing noticed. Based on the standards released by the Global Martial Union, a martial artist with a peak blood chi value of more than 200 and a combat power index of more than 100,000 would qualify as a level 4. Lu Xing roughly compared himself to Anai Hong Chuan in his head and got an exaggerated result. As the martial arts level increases, the difficulty to reach the next level also increases. Level 4 martial artists, even in the entire Beihai city, are regarded as a group of experts, with dignified status. At the front door of the martial arts school was a reception desk. The receptionist was a girl of around 20 years old, appearing quite beautiful. Seeing Lu Xing, the girl quickly put on a professional smile and took the initiative to greet him. Is this student here to enroll in our martial arts hall's martial arts training classes? Lu Xing shook his head. No, I'm here to test my blood chi value and combat power index. The receptionist girl swept a glance at the school uniform Lu Xing was wearing and gave a nod based on her discernment. She could naturally see that Lu Xing was one of those kids from an ordinary family, so there would be no point in wasting her time on him. Go down the hallway and proceed to room 8. There are devices for the test inside. The receptionist girl had a fairly good attitude and didn't look down on Lu Xing. The device for testing the blood chi value was somewhat similar to a spherical ball. Lu Xing raised his hand. As he placed his hand on the ball, it emits an aura that illuminated the entire room. A faint blue light appeared on the sphere, then the device emitted a soft, beep, sound, and a value popped up on the device's screen. It was 0 0.963 blood chi value. When Lu Xing saw the value, he couldn't help but clench his fist firmly even though he had already anticipated it. The blood chi value had really increased. He thought to himself, this proves that everything I obtained in that dream can really be brought to reality. This is no longer just a game of killing monsters and leveling up. Instead, it is cultivation. Lu Xing held back his excitement. Now that he finally saw a glimpse of hope that could allow him to shine in the martial arts world, how could he not be excited and delighted? Let's measure the combat power index now. The device for testing combat power was much bigger almost as tall as a person, and in the middle of the device was a padded groove. The test only required punching hard at the groove. Lu Xing took a deep breath, and his right arm muscles followed the trajectory of the techniques in his memory. He then threw a ferocious punch at the force measuring device. A number popped up on the force measuring device. The combat power index had reached 113. Lu Xing thought to himself, Last year, the undergraduate martial arts score line in Beihai City for blood chi value was 1.05, and the combat power index was 105. In other words, now I have almost reached the standard for the undergraduate line. Even if I can't enter the dream anymore, I will be able to safely enter any of the number two martial arts universities after the college entrance exam in just 200 days. Naturally, Lu Xing's current ambition didn't stop there. At this moment, Lu Xing keenly felt just how bright his road ahead had become. And all of this was due to a dream that he had just a few hours ago. After the test, Lu Xing quickly returned home. He couldn't wait to enter the dream world again and explore it. What? I actually can't fall asleep. Lu Xing stood up from his bed, slightly bewildered, scratching his head with a frustrated expression. 
Lu Xing looked at the time and eventually decided to do some pre-bedtime exercise. The exercise was naturally the 24 forms of body refining, which he called the 13th set of radio exercises. It just so happens that his blood qi value has increased a lot and it needs to be consolidated. Lu Xing followed the 24 forms of body refining that he had done countless times on the yoga mat and started practicing late at night. But not long after the practice, Lu Xing felt that something was wrong. Wait, how can I perform movements like this? Lu Xing suddenly stopped his movements with a slightly strange expression. But just now, he distinctly felt himself subconsciously performing a different set of movements. And that set of movements was something he had never learned before. Lu Xing quickly understood what was wrong. He had absorbed the memories of martial arts from the two uniformed zombies, and alongside their combat skills and experience, he had also inherited the memories of their practice. With curiosity in mind, Lu Xing decided to practice the body refining technique from the memories of the two uniformed zombies. He thought in mind, The movements are considerably larger than the body refining technique I practice now, with over 200 forms. Some of the movements appear difficult, but with the memories he inherited from those two zombies, it's equivalent to having practiced it countless times, making it easy to perform. As soon as Lu Xing did one of the movements, a certain part of his body produced a tingling sensation similar to an electric shock. The sensation was extremely pleasant as if a wave of warmth was flowing through his body. It felt so good that he nearly let out a moan. It was as if Lu Xing had discovered a whole new world all of a sudden. He began to focus on practicing the body refining technique. At this moment, if a second person was present in the room, they would see Lu Xing's body continuously twisting into one weird movement after another. These movements were connected together with an unexpected and wonderfully harmonious sense of grace. And throughout the process, Lu Xing's body continued to tremble slightly. Lu Xing finally performed the last movement. His entire body collapsed on the yoga mat as if it was falling apart. An intense sense of hunger passed through Lu Xing's brain. Didn't I eat dinner just a few hours ago? Lu Xing was feeling incredible. The empty stomach constantly reminded him that his body was now in dire need of energy. It was clear to him that regular food will not suffice. He required high-level medicine to maintain his newly found strength. But the cost of these medicines was enormous, and he recognized that he would need to find means to earn money to fund his medicines. After the training previous night, Lu Xing woke up next day to attend martial arts combat class at Baiha High School. As he reached the sports gym, Lu Qiming rushed past Lu Xing and opened the locker room door for him in advance. The two who were supposed to be sworn friends, but suddenly one seemed to be reduced to a mere follower of the other, while Lu Qiming didn't even realize, as if everything was natural and as it should be. Lu Xing, why have you lost so much weight? Inside the dressing room, Lu Xing and Lu Qiming were changing into the martial arts gear required for the actual combat class. Lu Xing, who took off shirt and pant, displayed a muscular body with clear-cut definitions and lines like that of a cheetah. He had grown slightly slimmer. This was due to the rapid rise of his beak UV when being undernourished. I need to trim my hair. Lu Xing looked at his familiar yet unfamiliar face in the mirror. His thin and shapely eyes were deep and dark, which occasionally burst out with knife-like sharp tinge. Now, even if he just stood there calmly, he would give people an inexplicable sense of shock. After changing clothes, Lu Xing and Lu Qiming walked into the martial arts hall together. The entire martial arts hall was very large, which was divided into a block of padded field. Each field was equivalent to a practical combat class practice classroom. They were obviously not the only class to use the hall in this time period, so Lu Xing and Lu Qiming found their own class venue and quickly walked over. Everyone sat in a circle around the edge of the field, and a middle-aged man with a robust physique, and muscles that strained his loose martial arts uniform slightly, stood in the middle. This is a practical combat class, I hope you have consolidated what I taught you before. The content of the basic combat techniques. The teacher of the practical combat class was named Zhong Zhengwe, an official level 2 martial artist, who was said to have been in battle and had fought head-on with a foreign beast. The huge scar on Zhong Zhengwe's deliberately bare right arm was the best proof of this. 
This is also his most proud possession, having boasted about it more than once to the students in class. Next, Zhong Jinghua began to formally explain the use of various combat techniques to the students, and called a boy up to be his sparring partner. In Lu Xing's opinion, these fighting techniques taught by Zhong Jinghua were simple and crude, and what he learned in his dreams were far more brilliant in many times. Every time he asks Yang Yifei to go up, can he not pick from the ordinary students and give them a chance? Damn it! Lu Xing suddenly heard a sour complaint from Lu Qiming next to him. Only then did he notice the boy who had been called up by Zhong Jinghua to accompany him to practice combat techniques. The boy's name was Yang Yifei. His family was well off, his martial arts performance ranked top in the grade, plus with his handsome appearance, he had a certain popularity even in the school. You can't block it even if you are given the chance, even with the force withdrawn, Mr. Zhong's fist is not something anyone can block. Lu Xing glanced at Lu Qiming and said indifferently. Lu Qiming's face reddened, and he muttered. Who let Yang Yifei's family be so good? He has all kinds of tonics for his meal. I heard that his BQV has almost reached 1.2. Lu Xing did not talk to him again, just calmly watched the demonstration of Zhong Zhenghua and Yang Yifei. Lu Qiming looked unconvinced, as he would be able to do better than Yang Yifei if given the same environment and resources as him. On the surface it looked like he was listening carefully, but in fact Lu Xing was pondering about the details of his scholarship, and how he could raise the matter with the teacher. At last the demonstration was finished. Zhong Jinghua ended the drill and casually greeted Yang Yifei beside him. Yang Yifei, you don't go down. Find another person to practice with you. Yes. Yang Yifei was insouciant, seemingly used to such special treatment long ago. Is there any student who is willing to come up and have a spar with Yang Yifei? Zhong Jinghua asked loudly, and wherever his gaze landed, students did their best to go unnoticed or dodged his eyes. No one? Zhong Jinghua frowned slightly, somewhat dissatisfied. Every time he talked about actual combat practice, these students cowered, like ostriches, and wanted to bury their heads in the ground, so how could he teach them? Many people privately talk about how he was biased towards the top students in the class. These people did not really think before passing such comments, because every time such occasions came up, except for the top students like Yang Yifei, how many people dare to come forward to accept his guidance? Many people like to complain about the lack of opportunities, but they did not understand that the opportunity slips away because of their repeated retreat in the face of it. Zhong Jinghua swept his gaze over every student, gradually becoming disappointed in his heart. Just as he was about to order a random person up, he suddenly met a pair of dark, deep eyes. Hmm? Zhong Jinghua's eyes lit up and his gaze landed on a student with calm eyes and a slim body. In the crowd that had avoided his gaze, someone who dared to look him square in the eye suddenly appeared to be so striking and abrupt. Okay, that student you. You come up and practice with Yang Yifei. Zhong Jinghua pointed at the distinctive student and said loudly, Lu Xing, teacher Zhong is calling you, hmm? Lu Xing returned from his thoughts and suddenly realized that he had been asked by Zhong Jinghua to come up and spar with Yang Yifei. The students to the left and right all looked at Lu Xing with a sadistic gaze, as if looking forward to a good show, and even Lu Qiming gave him a self-seeking look. For nobody students like him and Lu Xing, the chances of being called up by the teacher in class were the same as winning the lottery. There is no telling what kind of bad luck Lu Xing had today to be picked in the practical combat class as a sparring partner. Then, he stood up and walked toward the middle of the field. Lu Xing walked over to Zhong Jinghua and calmly greeted him. Zhong Jinghua noticed the strong, smooth and well-defined muscle full of strength revealed under Lu Xing's visibly short sleeves, and couldn't help but light up. How come I didn't notice that there was such a good seedling in the class before? Z. Hong Jinghua looked up and down at Lu Xing with a slightly pleased look and asked, What is your name? Lu Xing. What was your score on the last blood chi value test? Lu Xing thought for a moment and replied truthfully, 0 0.802. Only 0 0.8? It's a bit on the low side. It doesn't look like it. Zhong Jinghua frowned. Could it be that I have misjudged? Zhong Jinghua shook his head, but didn't continue to think too deeply then arranged. 
spar with Yang Yifei, use the martial arts techniques I just taught, and after the end, I will point out any shortcomings in your movements. Understood. Lu Xing nodded, then walked over to Yang Yifei and stood still. Yang Yifei's expression was relaxed, he nodded slightly at Lu Xing, and reminded him. My blood qi value is 1.22 already, so I might strike a little too hard later, you should be careful. Lu Xing didn't react, only casually nodded. Here I come. Yang Yifei shouted, and his entire body sprang forward like a cheetah, dashing towards Lu Xing. Even Zhong Jingwe, who was watching from the sidelines, couldn't help but nod his head slightly when he saw his performance. As for the students at the bottom, they were already well prepared to be amazed. Lu Qiming turned his head slightly and looked at Lu Xing with a worried expression. Yang Yifei lunged at Lu Xing with an arrogant smile, thinking about finishing it in a single blow. As his fists reached Lu Xing, his face expressions changed. Fear can be seen on his face. To his surprise, Lu Xing with a swift movement dodged his punch and took his stance to throw a punch back at him. Yang Yifei could not perceive what was happening in front of his eyes. He stood there dazedly. Suddenly Lu Xing punched him on his face. Then, in the next moment, a figure flew out from the middle of the field, flying out five to six meters away, before falling hard on the ground. Everyone around was silent, staring fixedly at the middle of the field with a confused expression. Everyone looked at Lu Xing in a daze, and Yang Yifei, who fell to the ground from pain, couldn't believe his eyes. Lu! Lu Xing, with a single move, sent Yang Yifei, a genius with a blood qi value of 1.2 who was ranked in the top 10 of his grade, flying out? They doubted whether they were dreaming. Zan Jingwe shouted, silence, as he rushed forward Yang Yifei. The field became eerily quiet. As for Lu Xing, he was standing in the middle of the field with dignity, and it appeared as if he didn't even take one step. Everyone looked at Lu Xing's eyes again, as if they were looking at a monster. Even Zhong Zhengguo was stunned. Then he quickly realized one thing. He indeed didn't misjudge. Hurry and get two people to help Yang Yifei go to the infirmary. Zhong Zhengguo quickly gave orders, and only then did the others wake up as if they were dreaming and took action. Some students put Yang Yifei on a stretcher and took him away. Teacher Zhong, I just... Lu Xing wanted to explain to Zhong Zhengguo that it wasn't his intention to not use the fighting techniques he taught. Instead, when Yang Yifei was rushing over, his fighting instinct drove him to do so subconsciously. By the time he reacted and wanted to cooperate with the sparring, Yang Yifei was already sent flying. Who knew he was so incapable of fighting? Zhong Jingwa looked at Lu Xing for a moment. Stop, you come with me for a moment. Zhong Jingwa put his big hand on Lu Xing's shoulder, ordered him and breezed out the door, not caring whether the practical class was over or not. Lu Xing could only obediently follow. Only after the two left did a loud chatter explode in the field. What the hell? Was Lu Xing high on drugs? Why was he so strong? Even Yang Yifei couldn't beat him? That guy is Lu Xing, isn't he? The Lu Xing we know, right? Yang Yifei has a blood qi value of 1.22, but even he couldn't beat Lu Xing. Just how much is Lu Xing's blood qi value? Amidst a wave of awe and chatter, Lu Qiming's mouth was wide open, staring dazedly in Lu Xing's distant direction, he was still confused. As they entered the office, Lu Xing noticed a bonsai plant and a combat power testing device. Didn't you say that your last BQV test score was 0.8? And blood value test score was 0.8? And do you think you look like a 0.8? Zhong Xingwe just brought Lu Xing to the office and stared at him with burning eyes. Lu Xing was a little helpless and said, Teacher Zhong, you said that you were asking about the last test result. Zhong Jinghua was speechless for a moment, and after thinking about it, he said, I'll test you again now. Lu Xing nodded his head. Lu Xing put his hand on the sphere. A sudden gust of energy was released from the sphere as it tested Lu Xing's blood qi value. A few moments later, the test results came out. It showed a blood qi value of 1.532 making Lu Xing eligible to become a rank 1 martial artist. While Zhong Jinghua was lost in his thought, he got startled to hear a loud noise. Bang! Lu Xing while assessing his combat power index broke the assessment machine, 
which in result destroyed the bonsai tree that was placed behind the machine. Zhong Jinghua was depressed at the sight of his favorite bonsai being destroyed. Zhong Jinghua looked at Lu Xing with a complicated look that was hard to describe in words. It was as if he was in shock, yet there was joy in it. There was a bit of surprise in that joy, included with a trace and doubt and disbelief. Doubts about himself, doubts about the truth, a complex look. When was the last time you tested? Zhong Jinghui took a deep breath, trying to calm down his mood, and opened his mouth to ask Lu Xing. Lu Xing thought about it and returned. The last monthly test, about less than a month. If we include the private test, it should be about a week ago. Less than a month ago. Zhong Jinghui didn't know what to say. It already exceeded the standard for level one martial artists. Mr. John eagerly asked if he was from some renowned family or if he had been taught by a grandmaster. To his surprise, Lu Xing revealed that he was either in high society nor did he receive training from a grandmaster. Mr. Zhang reflected on his own past experiences, reminiscing about how he had become a level two martial artist before joining the military. He remembered the lessons he learned on the battlefield, where he came to realize that people like him could never hope to triumph over monsters. The sheer strength and power of those beasts were beyond normal martial artists. The only people who were capable of standing against them were only a few people. They were people having heaven-defying talents, possessing strength impossible for normal people to imagine. Zhong Jinghua after witnessing Lu Xing's talents considered him to equal to those heaven-defying geniuses. This is definitely a combat-type martial arts genius. At this moment, Zhong Jinghua had an incomparably strong hunch in his heart. Zhong Jinghua also almost sorted out his mood by this time. With your current grades, you can apply to the school's top class. Zhong Jinghua also didn't ask for the reason behind Lu Xing's BQV doubling nearly in a month's time. It wasn't worth asking. Teacher, I think it's fine for me to stay in my current class. There's no need to change classes. Lu Xing replied. Zhong Jinghua nodded with a complicated expression. He also felt that there was no need. The cultivation of BQV relied entirely on the students themselves and what the school teacher could teach was only some skills in practical combat. Then, if you have any requests that you think the school can help you with, you can ask for them now. Zhong Jinghua inquired. Lu Xing was waiting for this opportunity. I want to apply to the school for the martial arts scholarship, and I would like to get more free time at school. Lu Xing brought up the two ideas he had in mind together. The second one came to him on the spur of the moment. Lu Xing had always felt that the current him staying in school was more of a waste of time. If he could have more time to practice his body refining techniques and explore the dream world every day, his strength might grow even faster. I'll apply for a 30,000 yuan scholarship to the school for you, and you should be able to receive the money within two days. The school will hold a meeting to discuss the matter during school hours, but there shouldn't be any problems with that too. After all, you are a genius. Genius should have certain privileges. Zhong Jinghua promptly responded to Lu Xing's request. In addition to that, I can promise you, if you achieve a high ranking in the city by representing our Baiha No. 3 Middle School in the college entrance exams, the school will provide you with an additional reward. Zhong Jinghua wore a formal expression as he said this as if he already saw Lu Xing as equal. Zhong Jinghui took out his bank card and offered it to Lu Xing and advised him to use it to satisfy his needs until the school issued a scholarship. Lu Xing was hesitant to accept it but Zhong Jinghui told him to pay it back once he gets the scholarship. Thank you, Teacher Zhong. I'm thankful to the school as well. Lu Xing expressed his gratitude. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first, Teacher Zhong. I understand. Zhong Jinghui nodded. Yes, you can go. A few moments after Lu Xing left, Zhong Jinghua, who was sitting in a chair, suddenly stood up. The calm on his face vanished, replaced with an intense rush of excitement and triumph. Lu Xing, my Baiha No. 3 middle school has actually produced someone like Lu Xing. I'll keep Lu Xing as a secret weapon before the college entrance exam. After the college entrance exam, I will taunt those from the number 1 and number 2 high schools. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm getting excited just thinking about those guys' expressions. In a shop named Marshall Medicine Hall, 
A tall teenager in a school uniform was looking at the products on the counter. A scholarship was on its way, and Lu Xing couldn't wait to go to the mall and decide how to spend the money. It wasn't that he couldn't restrain himself, planning to spend the money before he even received it. Instead, he just really wanted to improve his strength quickly. Zhong Jingwei assured Lu Xing that he could get him a special scholarship from Baiha Third High School. An amount of 30,000 yuan. Lu Xing originally regarded this money to be quite a lot, but now that he took a look, he realized the amount would prove to be completely insufficient. Being a martial artist from a poor family in this cruel martial artist era was simply too difficult. Lu Xing also realized the heft of the burden pressing down on his parents. Lu Qinghe is right. With her martial arts talent, if only she didn't have a mediocre brother like him to drag her down, the accomplishments she might have had under her belt would have been even greater than now. It's like how Lu Hai had decided to provide him and Qinghe with two sets of blood nourishment tonics each per month, the current limit of the Lu family. If these four sets of blood nourishment tonics could be provided to Lu Qinghe alone, the result would naturally be more pronounced. When he thought over it again, the conviction to earn money became even stronger in him. Whether it's for my own cultivation or for Lu Qinghe's martial path, I should work harder. Lu Xing did not continue to look any further and walked out of the mall. Several high school students wearing school uniforms and carrying backpacks jostled and ran past Lu Xing in a group rushing into the nearest internet cafe. Lu Xing stirred a little. A month or so ago, he was just like these people, hanging out at school every day, and the internet cafe after school. It was like fish living in muddy water, blinded by the turbidity in front, muddled every day, flapping in place, no direction, no motivation. Lu Xing felt like he had been trapped in a fish tank, unable to break out of it. Now that he had poked his head out of the water, he was clear-headed and understood exactly what he wanted, and knew exactly where the road from him lie. Do I regret? Lu Xing asked himself softly. I do not. Lu Xing's eyes were calm as he answered firmly. At that instant, various memories of martial arts suddenly flashed through Lu Xing's mind. A large portion of fragmented images swished past his eyes. At the instant, he seemed to have grasped something and something seemed to have been broken. Lu Xing's mind became incomparably clear, and something brand new burgeoned in his heart. A breakthrough. Lu Xing looked at his hands and was somewhat lost in thought. He clearly felt that the bottleneck on hand combat and fist techniques that he had reached by absorbing a large number of memories before was broken at this moment. His understanding of fist techniques had reached a whole new level. It was a state that was hard to describe. The current Lu Xing felt that he could perfectly master any of the fist or hand combat techniques in his mind. He could do the most appropriate response using hand combat techniques in different situations. A clear heart and a clear mind. This phenomenon is known as epiphany in martial arts. Did I just experience an epiphany? Lu Xing was not sure. But it didn't matter. He only knew that his strength should have improved again. With the money that he received from Zhong Jingwe, Lu Xing purchased the moxibustion device as well as some tonics for his sister. Then he quickened his pace to reach home. After reaching home, he traveled to the dream world for further training. On the gray mist-shrouded wilderness, two figures were exchanging blows. Lu Xing's opponent was a zombie dressed in a blue jumpsuit. This type of zombie was much stronger than the ones he had encountered before, the ones wearing gray jumpsuits. They had greater strength, were faster, and even retained some fighting skills. The one in front of him was like that. The blue jumpsuit zombie roared low and stretched out its thick arm to grasp at Lu Xing fiercely. The arm emitted a, whirring, sound of breaking air. Lu Xing's eyes remained stayed, he took a few steps forward abruptly, he used his shoulders and pressed them against the large arm of the blue jumpsuit zombie to block its punch. Then quickly reached out, and wrapped his arms around the latter's neck in an unconventional position, and shifted it downwards, and pulled back hard. His knee blasted out like a cannonball, and hit the zombie's jaw position fiercely. The blue jumpsuit zombie's head folded in bizarre angel and lulled behind the shoulder. After quivering for a while, it fell to the ground. The corpse quickly weathered, surfacing a black line of smoke that quickly scurried into Lu Xing's body. 
when Lu Xing opened his eyes, indicating that he had absorbed the memories. The harvest this blue jumpsuit, elite monster, brought was not at all small. After absorbing the memory, Lu Xing felt that his comprehension of hand combat had reached a new level. During this, absorbing the memories of a large number of uniformed zombies had another benefit in addition to accelerating Lu Xing's martial arts progress. With the clues obtained from one memory after another, Lu Xing gradually pieced together a route that actually led to base 1359. This is the correct direction. If I keep going, eventually I'll be able to reach base 1359, and it shouldn't be too long before that day arrives. The area ahead of Lu Xing was shrouded in gray fog, with a few stumbling figures emerging from it occasionally. He strode ahead with a firm gaze. Lu Xing appeared in the familiar wilderness. A sturdy zombie was the first to notice Lu Xing and quickly pounced on him with a low roar. There was no hesitation. Lu Xing quickly rushed up. He blocked and punched. There was only an exchange of two moves before the zombie wearing an unrecognizable style of clothing had its neck snapped by Lu Xing. Just as Lu Xing punched a zombie's head and was absorbing its memories after having dealt with it, his eyes got transfixed by something. Lu Xing saw the gray mist disperse and flow like water in the direction directly in front of him. There were silhouettes of crumbling, magnificent buildings that were slowly being revealed as the gray mist cleared. Finally! I've reached it! The legendary base 1359. Lu Xing was extraordinarily calm and cautious. There were times when the unknown also represented danger. He ran like the wind in the direction of the base. Lu Xing was fast, but his footsteps were very light. Finally, Lu Xing came to the foot of the giant city. He hid under a ruined wall and looked up to survey the city in front of him. This majestic city was truly displayed in front of him. It was hard to describe just how big this city was. Lu Xing needed to crane his neck to an angle close to the limit in order to barely look at the top of the city walls. The entire city was surrounded by walls that towered into the clouds. This reminded Lu Xing of a certain anime that had giant towering walls protecting a city from the attack of evil giants in his previous life. Compared to those walls in the anime, these walls were considerably much taller. The entire city, from the outside, looked like a huge broken bowl full of cracks, breakage, and delamination. The debris he was leaning on was one insignificant piece that was knocked off the dilapidated bowl. It was hard to imagine that there was any power in this world that could tear open such a solid defense line. Looking at the site with his own eyes, he understood that the scenes of destruction he had seen in the memories were but the ten thousandth fraction of what had really happened. Base 1359 There should be at least a thousand more similar bases like this. Where are the rest of those bases? Are they still intact? What exactly have the people of this world gone through, and are there any survivors left? Many doubts arose in Lu Xing's heart. He took a step towards the giant city. He felt that the truth was waiting for him there. As he explored the city within the walls, Lu Xing's eyes were drawn to a towering building. H.M. It should be Command Center. Within its walls, he caught a glimpse of a man that seemed to be a master. Huh? What's that? It should be a zombie. As he took a peek at the corpse sitting inside the building, an immense surge of killing intent was targeted at him. It was as if the very air itself thickened due to this certain danger. The lethal energy emanating from the command center even shook the depths of Lu Xing's soul. He collapsed on the floor, retreating backward in fear. What the hell was that? What a terrifyingly intimidating force! That place isn't one I can go to with my current abilities. He knew in his heart that he should not linger near that place. After walking all the way to the inner side of the wall, the reality inside the city was presented before Lu Xing. All kinds of tall buildings and streets were present. The style was drastically different from the real world where he lived. After his repeated experiments, he found that the safe distance between him and the zombies was about ten meters. As long as he did not get closer than ten meters around the zombies, he wouldn't be discovered and attract their ire. Lu Xing slowly closed the distance to the gap, all the while keeping careful vigilance to avoid all the zombies roaming around. After roaming around for some time, Lu Xing finally found a residential building. Lu Xing randomly found a house and walked into it. There was no one in the house. 
The house was separated into several small rooms, but the overall space was small. A table was placed in the middle of the living room, and some dishes and tableware lay scattered on the table. The house did not contain any presence of zombies. Lu Xing guessed that under that horrible black fog, ordinary people might not even be qualified to turn into zombies. Finally, Lu Xing found a palm-sized, less than half-centimeter thick, gray-colored disc on the desk, with traces of writing left on it. Tian. Hang. Technologies. Lu Xing put his hand on the disc, trying to check if it works or not. After waiting for about a minute or so, Lu Xing was about to give up. At this time, he heard a drop sound, and then the disc in his hand began to emit a faint blue light. The blue light became more and more vibrant, but it wasn't blinding. The dusty, dead room seemed to gradually wake up with the appearance of this blue light. Welcome to Tianhing Technologies. A soft female voice came out of the disc. The blue light on the disc then began to quickly coalesce into a female silhouette. I can't believe it still functions. A trace of excitement surged in Lu Xing's heart when the female silhouette showed up in front of Lu Xing. He was confused. How should I use it? Lu Xing hesitated for a moment. But almost instantly, the blue beauty in front of him smiled and spoke. First time users of the optical mind can operate according to given instructions and guidelines. Fortunately, there is a newbie guide. Lu Xing breathed a sigh of relief. Soon, he mastered the operation method under the intelligent guidance of the device. Next, I'll have to slowly gain an understanding of this world. Lu Xing took a light breath, thought about it, and issued a command. Help me search information and news on the most recent date. Connecting to Skynet, connection failed. Connecting to Base 1359 Civilian Database, connection successful. The next moment, Lu Xing saw huge amounts of information swish past his eyes. When Lu Xing's eyes rested on a text, the image immediately enlarged and the corresponding date presented itself to him. Lu Xing quickly browsed through the news presented to him by optical mind. All kinds of information kept hitting Lu Xing's nerves. Level 10 Powerhouse, Planetary Migration Plan, Patriarchal Meeting As Lu Xing expected, this world's martial civilization was much more advanced than the one he lived in. They even explored the level above the ninth and tenth levels of martial cultivation, the eleventh level long ago. But even so, the most news Lu Xing saw was that of the fall of one martial arts base after another. July 12th, 11024 MC Base 105 fell. September 30th, 11024 MC Base 114 and 893 fell. The World Marshal Alliance will hold the 274th Patriarchal Conference at the main base one. This world's martial arts civilization is incomparably enlightened. They are at an unimaginable height. They face an even more terrifying enemy. Even martial arts of the 10th and 11th level can't guard the human race that is failing against the clutches of the foreign beasts. In the end, they even decided to abandon their home planet and start finding a suitable home in the stars. But from the news, Lu Xing's eyes lowered, and the speed of the blue light that crossed in front of him slowed down. The exploratory ships that were launched with a particular mission did not return with any news even after Base 1359 fell. Lu Xing mourned for them. What he saw in the news message was helplessness and sorrow of a glorious civilization on its way towards extinction. Lu Xing stopped reading through the news and related information, and spoke. Pull up information on world history. Information on world history is being retrieved. Information on world history retrieved successfully. Lu Xing looked toward the newly slid out information. Year 1 MC, the northern part of the ancient Eagle Kingdom, the eastern and southern part of the ancient Lion Kingdom, the western part of the ancient Dragon Kingdom. Earth cracked and hordes of otherworldly creatures crawled out the chasm, hum. When he read the first line of the world's history, Lu Xing's brain seemed to be struck by a heavy hammer, and it shook more than once. Lu Xing suspected that he had misread it, and came closer to reading word by word. In year 34 MC, the world's first martial artist with Qi was born in the ancient Dragon Kingdom, and the World Martial Alliance was formed contemporarily in the same year. Lu Xing was lost, and he slumped to the ground. He was usually either calm, happy, 
or even angry when faced with situations, but this time his face was colored with utter disbelief and stupefaction. He looked through the first few hundred years of this world's history and found that they overlapped highly with what he had learned in his history class. The time, the historical figures, the historical events, they were ditto, exactly the same. Lu Xing finally got an unbelievable, unbelievable conclusion. This world, and the one he has been living in, were one and the same. The information he just flipped through was not any history of another world and its martial civilization, but it was the future of the world. Ten thousand years into the future. Lu Xing's face turned pale. He couldn't accept this result. It may not be, it may not be the same, it may just be a coincidence, it may be a parallel world. Lu Xing consoled himself and tried to calm himself down. Lu Xing tried to zoom in on history, looking for clues from smaller traces. But at this time, the optical mind prompted. Insufficient authority, visitor cannot access query. Lu Xing frowned slightly and spoke. Generate user ID. Please provide a genetic blood sample. The advanced technological invention, the optical mind, required a genetic blood sample to create a user ID it was simply remarkable. Lu Xing didn't know if it would work in the dream world. As he was thinking, the AI LE bit his index finger. After getting a drop of blood, it started analysis to generate a user ID. After Lu Xing gave a blood sample, the optical mind went silent for more than ten minutes. When Lu Xing was beginning to suspect that the thing was dead, the device finally issued a crisp, drop, sound. But it wasn't prompt to notify the successful creation of a new user ID, but Human Genetic Blood Sample Detected Fireseed Program Initiated Connecting to Fireseed Repository 1359 Connection Successful Permission Granted Dash The next moment, in front of Lu Xing's eyes, a large message popped up. At the top of this message was a picture of himself. In the photo was a handsome-looking, stalwart middle-aged man with a face that Lu Xing was incomparably familiar with. This person was none other than himself. Lu Xing calmly continued to read down his biography. Graduated from Baiha Third High School in Baiha City, enrolled in Baiha Martial Arts University. Placing first in the school and 23rd place in Baiha City that year. Three years later he graduated from Baiha Martial Arts University and joined the military. Later he served in the Tianan Military Division. He died on the battlefield in the Southern War Zone on August 3, 34 at the age of 37. Never married. Highest military rank, lieutenant. Battle merit. Obtained first class battle merit three times. Second class merit five times. Third class merit twelve times. No outstanding contributions. At the bottom of the profile, there was another character history rating, which was marked, two stars. It corresponded exactly to Lu Xing's level two authority in the Fire Seed Repository. Lu Xing took a deep breath and his eyes became incomparably complicated. It was hard for him not to believe that this was the future he was about to face. In front of the heft of history, his advancement from a mediocre talent to a genius did not even cause a ripple to it. To be precise, even after the metamorphosis, the huge fire seed repository did not even consider him a genius. Because in the world's ten thousand years of history, genius a hundred— not a thousand times better than him. The ones that could be considered geniuses were simply far too many to count. Leaving a legacy that was remembered throughout eras, eons, and even ages to come, those legends were only a few and far between. Lu Xing began to mutter to himself. The information says that my performance in the coming college entrance examinations will be with a blood chi value of 2.012 and a combat power index of 257. I'll score in the actual combat assessment. I'd rank 23rd and enter the Baiha Martial Arts University. If I discount the dream world and my current rate of increment by practicing both the body refinement technique and the breathing technique, and also the other available boost I get, then one can consider it normal to achieve the result mentioned above if they practice for more than 200 days. However, if I consider the cultivation and gains I've made in the dream world then, my actual digits should be far ahead from the ones shown in the data. Lu Xing's eyes suddenly burst out with two intense sharp auras. More than 200 days of cultivation, more than 200 days inside the dream world, 
more than 200 days of gains and accomplishments. I don't believe I'll only make so little progress after all that. Lu Xing clenched his fist fiercely. Will amount more than that. Since it's the future, it can be changed. My own future, and as well the entire human civilization's future can be changed. If human civilization will perish in the future, then I, Lu Xing, will be the one to change history and save the day. Lu Xing looked at the words, Fire Seed Repository, flashing blue on the screen of his optical mind and spoke calmly but with certainty. I am the spark that will start a conflagration. At this moment, the disillusionment, confusion, and disappointment in Lu Xing's heart were swept away, replaced by unprecedented determination and confidence. This was Lu Xing's belief. The next day Lu Xing woke up and went to have breakfast with his family. Lu Xing, how come you didn't change your school uniform? Don't you need to go to school today? Xin Yufen placed a pot of breakfast on the table and curiously asked him seeing him wear his casual clothes to the dining table. Lu Xin casually picked up a meat bun and nodded. Yes, the teacher said I can choose to study on my own at home in the future. There's still such a thing? Xin Yufen muttered suspiciously, but she didn't have the energy to think much about it as she was working several odd jobs at the same time and had to rush to work after breakfast, so she didn't ask more questions. Lu Qinghao habitually wanted to open her mouth and retort with something like, How come I've not heard of this new rule in school recently? But she looked at Lu Xing's dark eyes, and she swallowed back those words. This guy. Lu Qinghe took a bite out of the bun in her hand. The recent changes in Lu Xing were getting more eye-catching, and he no longer looked like his mediocre and timid self from before. Previously, she only felt that Lu Xing had become somewhat deep and mysterious. But today, Lu Xing gave her the feeling akin to a mountain, a piece of iron, a fire. Sitting next to Lu Xing, she even had a kind of oppressive feeling that she couldn't breathe. This feeling was too oppressive. Lu Xing did not notice Lu Qinghe's strangeness. He quickly ate breakfast and then went straight to his room to practice the body refining technique. As he entered his room, Lu Xing's cell phone rang. It was an unknown number. Lu Xing, your scholarship will be handed out. Come down to school this afternoon to get collected. Unsurprisingly, it was Zhong Jingwu's call. Got it, Mr. Zhong. By the way, why didn't you come to class today? Didn't I say that the school had to meet and discuss your school hours? Thanks to your request to keep it hidden from your parents, I had to ask your classmates for your phone number. Teacher Zhong, I don't have much time, so I can't waste my time anymore. Uh... Ignoring whether Zhong Jingwa on the other end of the phone could understand his words or not, Lu Xing hung up the phone. Since returning from the dream world last night, Lu Xing's mentality had completely changed. Before that, Lu Xing was still carefully hiding his strength, not daring to expose too much, not daring to let too many people know. Lu Xing repeatedly practiced the body refining technique, paired with the breathing technique over and over again. The purpose was to finish squeezing his energy as fast as possible, create a sense of exhaustion, and then enter the dream world. When Lu Xing finished practicing the body refining technique for the twenty-seventh time, he was finally so tired that he fell limp on the ground, not even willing to move his little finger. Sleep struck him, and he gradually fell asleep. He needed to rush to the top as quickly as possible, and then look for ways to change the future. Not even for a moment could not afford to wait. When he opened his eyes, he was still in the same place he left yesterday, with the optical mind in front of him. Lu Xing skillfully operated the optical mind and then gave the command. Pull up all cultivation methods, perceptions, and notes related to martial arts that fall within my authority. Very quickly, a huge amount of information appeared in front of Lu Xing's eyes. Densely packed, all of them were related to martial arts. It was too much. With more than 10,000 years of accumulation, inspiration from countless people, and wisdom, even if Lu Xing's authority was only level 2, the knowledge that could be obtained was massive. Lu Xing thought about it and continued to command. Screen data to the most suitable exercises and methods for a level 1 martial artist, and other related content. Screening in progress. The content was quickly screened out, and only three pieces of data remained. Stellar Body Refining Technique, Introductory Chapter Created by Wang He, 
a level 11 powerhouse of the World Martial Alliance, was later incorporated into the Fire Seed program. Natural Breathing Technique, Introductory Chapter Created by Yan Yi Zhou, a level 11 powerhouse of the World Martial Alliance, was later incorporated into the Fire Seed program. Crystal Contemplation Technique, Introductory Chapter Created by Duan Yi Feng, a level 11 powerhouse of the World Martial Alliance, was later incorporated into the Fire Seed program. The techniques each had a flashier name than the other, but the information on the creators was what made Lu Xing's eyes jump about wildly. Level 11 Martial Arts Powerhouses Nowadays, the world's strongest martial artists are only at level 9, but here, in front of Lu Xing, hovered three legacies of level 11 masters. Although all of them were just introductory chapters, their value was so great that it was difficult to put into words. Lu Xing noticed that all three techniques were marked with the words, incorporated into the Fire Seed project. Humanity's strongest should have predicted the ultimate fate of our race. Since they could do nothing to change their fates, they could compile the essence of their legacies expecting someone to come to find it long after they were gone and carry this fire. Lu Xing couldn't help but sigh. Unfortunately for them, they couldn't have imagined that the one who picked up the fire was not their progeny but an ancestor who lived long before them. The first thing Lu Xing practiced was the stellar body refining technique and the natural breathing technique. The stellar body refining technique sets up the human body as a miniature universe. When practiced to the depths, the technique would transform muscle density would reach an extremely terrifying level. Given unimaginable potential for strength and defense, BQV would skyrocket and would blaze like a river of stars. When Lu Xing was done emulating the final move from the stellar body refining technique, his whole body immediately trembled uncontrollably like he was given an electric shock. The incomparably strong pain and numbness swept through every corner of Lu Xing's entire body like a raging tide in the sea. Even the muscles and meridians located at the tip of the little finger were stimulated and exercised. This painful feeling lasted for over half an hour before it gradually diminished, followed by an unparalleled sense of relief. Lu Xing has so immersed in the intense pleasure of cultivation that his soul seemed sublimated and felt like it had gone through some out-of-the-body experience. If the effect of the body refining technique he was practicing before was a one, then the effect of the stellar body refining technique in addition to the natural breathing technique was a one thousand or even higher and the effect of the body refining technique, the twenty-four basic forms, that he had been practicing even before was completely negligible compared to this. It was simply no better than regular radio gymnastics. Lu Xing was extremely excited, he immediately turned to look at natural breathing techniques. The natural breathing technique, when practiced in conjunction with any martial arts technique, will allow the cultivation progress of the technique to skyrocket. Moreover, the natural breathing technique can allow martial artists to enter a state of celestial unity, which has incomparable benefits to the advancement of one's martial arts realm. With this technique, one can absorb different elements into their body in turn increasing the speed of their cultivation. Lu Xing followed the first part of natural breathing and started absorbing the fire elements in his surroundings. Later, he opened his eyes after performing the first set of natural breathing techniques. He felt like there was a fire raging inside his body, constantly removing the impurities from his body. Just after a single set of exercises, Lu Xing went completely limp and slumped on the ground, unable to move a muscle. Taking advantage of his downtime, Lu Xing began to try to practice the crystal contemplation technique. The concept of the crystal contemplation technique was wonderful and mysterious. The crystal contemplation technique which purifies the mind and strengthens the will, involves the most mysterious part of spiritual power in martial arts cultivation. Its first step was for the practitioner to visualize a human form in his mind, a human form carved entirely out of crystal. This crystal human form would be full of impurities initially, and then with the breath, little by little, all impurities are removed, and finally realize a spotless form. Although Lu Xing did not understand much about the concept and effect taught by the crystal contemplation technique, he knew that spiritual will was very important to martial arts cultivation. A martial artist with a strong will and no distracting thoughts and a firm will far exceed a martial artist with a lax will and mired with desires both in terms of combat power and cultivation speed. 
That is why there have always been many people who practice hard work in the martial arts world. However, although the crystal contemplation technique is magical, the difficulty in cultivating it is also very high. After getting the prescriptions for tonics as well, Lu Xing chose to wake up. It stinks. When Lu Xing awoke, he immediately noticed a strong fishy odor. He got up and found that his entire body was covered in black and oily sludge. The smell was coming from this sludge. Although I only practiced the stellar body refining technique in the dream world, some effects were still transmitted to reality. After figuring out the reason, Lu Xing hurriedly went to take a shower. My BQV should have increased again, just that I do not know by how much. After walking out of the bathroom with damp hair, Lu Xing looked up at the wall clock and thought, it's about time to go to school. Next time, at least say hello to me first. After giving Lu Xing a bank card, Zhong Jingwu reprimanded him with a bit of dissatisfaction. I understand, teacher Zhong. Though he wanted to say something more, when he saw Lu Xing's calm demeanor, he closed his mouth again. Go, go, go. From now just make sure to come to school at least once a week to report. Zhong Jingwu waved his hand helplessly. Yes. Lu Xing put his card away and then turned around and left. Lu Xing's departure back gave Zhong Jingwu's heart a strange feeling. If he had to describe it, he would say that the Lu Xing from before was like an open book, or just someone he could see through. But now, he felt Lu Xing was inscrutable someone he couldn't figure out at all. And this change took place all in a span of a single day. Zhong Jingwu shook his head. It was better to not dwell over things he couldn't understand. Finally, I have some money on me. After walking out of the office, Lu Xing felt a little more at ease for the first time in a while. He could not directly buy supplements with this money, that would be a total waste. The best way was to buy the ingredients and mix them by himself to make the supplements he wanted. The Fire Seed Repository had several kinds of tonic and medicinal formulas that Lu Xing could use. Of course, there were various options available after the optic mind screened it out for him. But in the end, the kind that would be suitable for the current Lu Xing would need further screening. Soon, Lu Xing identified two kinds of tonic pills suited to him. Spiritual muscle and blood strengthening soup and marrow nourishing pill. Lu Xing made up his mind. Now there was only one problem left for him to consider. Where do I prepare the soup? Even simple tonics require professional utensils. With a smidgen difference in the heat and dosage, the effect may spoil for worse. It isn't practical to acquire a set for myself. The money I have would surely not be enough. It is better if I rent it from someone. Lu Xing was a bit distressed. There should be institutions like this that are equipped to prepare medicines, conduct drug research, or larger pharmacies, and pharmaceutical companies. But the question is, why would they rent it to you? Forget it. I'll buy all the herbs needed for spiritual muscle and blood-strengthening soup, and then think about the rest. Sir, are you serious? This is impossible. Seeing the pharmacist's face turn black in front of him, Lu Xing got up and left. That's the seventh establishment. This isn't realistic. Lu Xing, who had just come out of the pharmacy, sighed sadly, his face displaying emotions of helplessness. He had already bought all the herbs needed for the spiritual muscle and blood-strengthening soup and had even bought several more than what was needed. The process of renting a mixing room turned out to be a very complicated affair. Lu Xing went to seven pharmaceutical companies, and they all turned him down. If this does not work out, I can only buy some rudimentary equipment online and try. Lu Xing looked at the eighth pharmacy that appeared in his field of vision and thought to himself. This pharmacy had a signboard saying, Xingshan Tang, hanging in front of it. It was quite rare to run into a store with such a name in Baiha City. It was uncommon here. Lu Xing straightened his clothes and stepped in. The pharmacy is not big, there are some cabinets with medicines on display. There was a young man in a white coat playing on his phone while he sat behind the counter. When he heard the sounds of Lu Xing entering, the youth lifted his head to look at him and then lowered it again. You can take a look around and find what you want, come back here to bill it. In the end, as if he forget to mention it, he added, Don't even think of stealing anything and running. The store is monitored, and the pictures are of good quality. After saying that, 
The youth began to focus on the phone again. Lu Xing's eyes flickered for a moment. Regardless of which pharmacy he entered before, the salesman inside, even if they had a bad attitude, would politely come up to ask him a question and find out what he needed. The storekeeper at this store, on the other hand, simply ignored him, not wanting to do business at all. Lu Xing approached the counter and reached out to press the phone in the youth's hand. You want to die! The youth was about to get angry when he moved his eyes away from the phone. But as soon as he met Lu Xing's eyes and felt the compelling aura emanating from him, he softened again in seconds. You! What do you want? The youth took two steps back quickly, looking at Lu Xing with some fear, his eyes glancing at the phone pressed under Lu Xing's hand from time to time. Lu Xing calmly said, I ask you one thing. Does your pharmacy have its own mixing room? What about it? So what if we do or not? Aren't you here to buy medicine? The youth said quickly. Lu Xing stretched out a finger and lightly tapped the glass counter and said indifferently, If there is, I would like to propose a business deal. Five minutes later, Lu Xing followed the youth to the door of a room behind the pharmacy. The youth's expression seemed a bit nervous. He repeatedly tried to confirm with Lu Xing. You've agreed to pay 200 yuan an hour. Even if you use it for less than an hour, it will still be counted as an hour and charged correspondingly. And at most I can let you use it for three hours, after three hours. Also, you have to pay the 200 yuan up front. Okay. Lu Xing very dryly took out 200 yuan and handed it to the youth. The youth lit up at the sight of money. He took the money and quickly stuffed it into his pocket, then pulled out a key, opened the door, and instructed Lu Xing. Okay, go in. But be careful as to not break anything, or you will have to pay for it. I know. Lu Xing walked straight into the room. Behind him, the youth acted as if nothing had happened and quickly returned to the store, but his face was glowing with indiscernible joy. Lu Xing patrolled the room. His eyes showed a look of satisfaction. The mixing room was not that big, but it was stocked with all the necessary equipment, enough for him to work with. Lu Xing put on the white pharmacist's uniform, put on the mask, and began to follow the instructions of the spiritual muscle and blood-strengthening soup's prescription to handle the herbs in it piece by piece. He took out all the ingredients one by one and refined them according to the prescription. First was a green lizard. Lu Xing put it inside an activator to separate the scales from its body. Next up, he took the condensed moonstone to refine it into a liquid. Finally, he used a laser beam to cut the tree roots. Compared to the final mix, this step was the most difficult and important. He was glad that the preparation of spiritual muscle and blood-strengthening soup is not difficult at all. It is just a little more tedious than an ordinary chemical experiment. Lu Xing carefully poured the boiling medicinal soup into a flask. I didn't think it would go well the first time. Lu Xing looked at the medicinal soup inside the flask that gradually cooled down and took on a beautiful light green color, and a bit of joy rose in his heart. In the end, the soup was successful, though he'd still have to taste and feel the effect. Lu Xing pulled off the mask and directly poured all the medicinal soup inside the flask into his mouth. The soup went down the throat and into the stomach. Lu Xing did not even taste what it was. He stood still and waited for a few seconds. He felt a hot stream coming out of his body, and in a few breaths, it went through his body. Every inch of muscle cell in Lu Xing's body was greedily absorbing the heat flow. It was like an arid suddenly being watered, or a sponge that had been exposed to the sun being thrown into water. Lu Xing's body steamed up a trace of white gas, his BQV surged, and his whole person was filled with the feeling of being full. Ten minutes later, this feeling gradually weakened and eventually disappeared. Lu Xing's eyes stared brightly at the flask in his hand. He knew that he had succeeded. The effect of spiritual muscle and blood-strengthening soup was even better than he expected, almost more than ten times that of the blood-nourishing tonic he had taken before. And it cost twice lesser than the blood-nourishing tonic. Lu Xing also felt that his muscles had become slightly tougher and firmer. Bang bang bang. As he was lost in thoughts, someone knocked at the lab's door. Lu Xing opened the door, his face expressionless. Didn't you say you won't disturb me while I was in? My boss will be back soon. Come out quickly. 
The youth at the door had a nervous expression on his face, as he kept urging. Lu Xing looked astonished, and did not speak. He quickly cleaned up the mixing room, took the blended soup, and walked out of the room, continued as He Ling Su dragged her tired body out of the car. He Ling Su was only twenty years old, with a delicate figure and a soft face. She should have been at the age to enjoy life to the fullest like a flower, but she took up the family responsibility early on in life. The He family pharmaceutical was one of rich heritage and did it for a living for several generations. The ancestor of the He's was once counted as one of the five famous master pharmacists in Baiha City. But after the store got passed down to her father's generation, the business fell. During He Ling Su's grandfather's generation, the He family was still prosperous with branches of Xingshan Tang spanning several provinces, adding up over 100 pharmaceutical stores to their name. Now only two stores in Baiha City remained lingering. Martial arts is developing rapidly, and so is the medicine industry which is intrinsically related to the martial arts cultivation. It undergoes changes and improves every single day with old methods and science being purged and eliminated. The reason for the decline of my he family is that our concept is too conservative and old-fashioned, sticking to the old rules, not thinking about progress. I do not dare think about it. A hundred years ago, when martial arts tonics were prevalent even when they couldn't afford them even after spending their monthly income on a blood-nourishing pill, the only way to save my family's current predicament is to push the boundaries and introduce the new. He Ling Su has been doing the same thing. During this period of time, she had been looking everywhere for a new supplementary tonic to use as a signature to save the He family's business. But half a year had gone by with little success to her name. Yesterday, she heard that an old pharmacist in the next city had developed a new tonic, so she rushed over there post-haste. As a result, halfway to the car, she received a phone call from the other side, telling her not to come, and that they had already found a good partner. He Ling Su returned empty-handed. Miss He, you're back. As soon as she entered, the youth in a white coat immediately took the initiative to greet her. He Ling Su was bored and didn't have time to pay attention to the other party, so she just nodded coldly. She had taken over the pharmacy for a while now and naturally knew exactly how the storekeepers behaved in private. The storekeeper named Ma Fei was lazy, likes to desert at work, and sometimes steals the store's tonic medicine to sell. She has warned several times but refused to repent. If not for the fact that she hadn't found a replacement for him, she would just straight ask him to leave. So beautiful, if only she could be my girlfriend. Ma Fei kept his eyes on He Ling Su's back until her back completely disappeared from sight before he turned back. He Ling Su has always been the goddess of Ma Fei's dreams. The reason Ma Fei stayed at Xingxiang Tang and refused to leave was that he fantasized that it would be nice to be seen in earnest by He Ling Su one day. Ma Fei was lying on the counter imagining himself to be the protagonist when He Ling Su's figure appeared before his eyes. He. Miss He. Ma Fei stood up with a jolt and quickly wiped off the saliva drooling out the corner of his mouth with his sleeve. Her face was like a block of cold ice, her face incomparably gloomy. Did you secretly bring someone into my tonic mixing room? No. No. Ma Fei hurriedly shook his head in denial. Looking at the other party's stammering, flickering eyes, He Ling Su was almost certain. Forget it, you don't have to come back to work tomorrow. He Ling Su said indifferently. Ah? Miss He, Miss He, listen to my explanation. He Ling Su no longer paid attention to Ma Fei, she simply turned around and left. Just now, when she walked into the mixing room she found that many of the equipment and instruments had been moved from their place. Even her lab coat emitted the strong scent of man from the inside. Crazy! He pisses me off! He Ling Su threw a tantrum as she cleaned up. Hmm? There is still a broken flask. He Ling Su suddenly noticed that a used flask was placed in an inconspicuous corner of the floor. There was still some light green liquid left in the bottle. Ha, huh, it's disgusting. He Ling Su was full of disgust. She put on the gloves and wanted to directly into the trash. As she bent down to pick it up, she realized that the spilled potion has a new combination of different unrelated ingredients that are not compatible with each other but the smell and appearance it is giving astonished her, as she had never seen or heard of anything like this before. 
Out of curiosity, she took a drop of potion on her finger. Recently, her mind was occupied with thoughts of new drugs and tonics that she even wanted to pick up the unknown liquid in the garbage can and study its contents. Thereafter analyzing the liquid on her finger further, she instantly licked it to check out its results. But to her surprise, she got amazed at the heaven-defying effects of the tonic. Crap, I'm really unlucky to have run into this. Ma Fei cried and was packing up his things, ready to collect his things and leave. The thought of not having a chance to see his goddess tomorrow filled Ma Fei with regret. I should have been swayed by a couple of hundreds that brat offered me. Now it's got me good. Ma Fei carried his things out of the Xingshan Tang and looked back with fondness in his eyes. God, can you just give me a chance to take one final look at my goddess? Ma Fei sighed in his heart. The next moment, a miracle happened. He Ling Su really appeared in front of him. Not only that, but He Ling Su was also running towards him. Her face was filled with tension, anxiety, and urgency. Ma Fei! Ma Fei! Ma Fei, where are you? Damn, it can't be that you already left. Ma Fei was stunned. His fantasy had come true? A great joy and excitement rose in Ma Fei's heart, and he hurriedly spoke. Little he. Ling Su, I'm here. You haven't left yet? He Ling Su rushed out, grabbed Ma Fei's clothes, and eagerly said, Just in time, I have something very important to ask you. He Ling Su frowned when she heard Ma Fei address her, but she didn't have time to care about that at this moment. What kind of person did you bring into the mixing room today? I want to see him. Immediately. Immediately. Huh? Ma Fei froze. This did not seem to follow the plot in web novels or the scenes that he imagined. Are you deaf? I said I want to see the man you brought into the mixing room today. If you can help me find him, I guarantee that not only will I let you continue working here, but I'll also double your salary. Uh... Oh, oh. Ma Fei woke up from his daydream and took out his phone. I have his contact information. Give it to me. He Ling Su was anxious as hell in her heart. What if she was delayed by a minute? It was no surprise that she was reacting the way she was. It was mainly because the test result on the residue had come, and it was simply way too amazing. The blood replenishment effect exceeds more than ten times than those tonics that are available for less than 100,000 yuan on the market. Notwithstanding that, it also has additional properties of fairness, muscle building, and other effects. By preliminary estimates, the manufacturing cost of this liquid should not exceed more than 5,000 yuan. All factors combined, He Ling Su seems to see an unprecedented business opportunity beckoning to her. The He family has hope yet. The small room almost transformed into a steamer. If someone stepped into the room, they would think they were in a sauna. It is obvious that Lu Xing is the source of all this steam. The whole person seems to be a boiled kettle because of the thick heat coming out of his body. In the haze of the vapor, one could see Lu Xing's muscles shaking slowly and rhythmically. Very quickly, Lu Xing was done with the final exercise. But he did not open his eyes but sat in place. His chest rose and fell, and a large amount of white steam was breathed from his nose and exhaled from his mouth. It swam around the room like a spiritual snake. This stellar body refining technique is truly worthy of being the most powerful body refining technique 10,000 into the future. The latent potential it can unearth from a body is simply unimaginable. At this rate, a star might really germinate in my body. Lu Xing spoke to himself. My BQV has enhanced yet again. Spiritual muscle and blood strengthening soup is very effective. With my current physique, it's enough if I consume two portions a day. I can't seem to digest more than that at the moment. Then according to this, if I do the math, then my current stock will last me six days, and I'll find more ways to procure them after that. The phone rang suddenly. Lu Xing picked up the phone. Yes. When? A week from now. Lu Xing hung up the phone without waiting for the other side to speak. He Ling Su directly grabbed Ma Fei's cell phone, but before she could answer it, she heard a call drop sound. He hung up. He Ling Su was not deterred and dialed again, but soon she heard the The user you have dialed is switched off. Prompt from the phone. Ah, this is urgent. 
He Ling Su grabbed Ma Fei and vented her anger at him. He Ling Su ordered Ma Fei. From now on, you are responsible for helping me find that master, the sooner the better. The sooner you complete the task, I'll reward you with five thousand, no, ten thousand yuan for every day you manage to save. Really? Hearing that there was a reward, Ma Fei immediately perked up. Miss He, you have to keep your word. When have I ever not kept my word? Ma Fei was thinking about the amount he would get as a reward when he suddenly remembered and said something worriedly. Miss He, I think you're mistaken about something. The person who asked me to lend him the mixing room was only a teenager, perhaps a high schooler. Could he really be that master pharmacist you said he was? A student? He Ling Su frowned slightly and whispered to herself. Then perhaps there is a master pharmacist behind him. He Ling Su was overcome with impatience and was both excited and nervous. She was both eager and terrified. It was difficult to describe her current mood. Base 1359. Lu Xing stood in the middle of a dilapidated street. At a distance of ten meters from him, there stood a tall zombie. This zombie was missing a left arm and had a huge wound over thirty centimeters long on its chest. It tilted its head slightly, its hollow eyes gazing longingly in one direction. Lu Xing was silent for a moment, and then slowly took a step forward. This step seemed to have alerted the zombie, as the quiet one-armed zombie turned its head to look at him. Without any words, the latter flung towards him. Lu Xing's eyes were calm, he took a deep breath and bent his back slightly to meet him. The two figures collided with great force in the empty and dilapidated street. A touch and a split. One of the figures thumped back a few steps. Lu Xing's expression was slightly strained. The fight with this one-armed zombie went on for a long time. They felt a strong sense of danger emitting from it. But even so, when he was face to face with it, Lu Xing still was at a disadvantage. It's at least twice as strong as me. The one-armed zombie was faster and stronger than Lu Xing and did not understand fatigue or pain. But it had an equally glaring weakness. It was missing an arm, had no intelligence and could only follow the combat instincts in its muscles to fight. This gave Lu Xing the opportunity to defeat it head-on. Lu Xing moved nimbly to avoid the one-armed zombie's fist. Taking advantage of its momentary lapse, he found an opening in its defense. He clenched his fist and punched the one-armed zombie's forehead. His punch made a perfect arc. And in the process, the muscles on his arms seemed to move as if they had gained a life of their own. The one-armed zombie's head directly exploded. This punch was far more powerful than any of Lu Xing's previous punches. A lot more powerful. The one-armed zombie fell down with a bang. Lu Xing instantly took the opportunity and jumped in the air. And charged at the zombie, hitting its head with his kick, directly killing it. Lu Xing walked up to it, looked at its mutilated body, and chanted lowly. The spirit is undying. The one-armed zombie's body quickly weathered, and its lifetime of experience and skill turned into black smoke and beelined into Lu Xing's body. Lu Xing absorbed it without comment. Nowadays, he long ceased to regard these zombies as mere monsters that gave him EXP, but always attached some inexplicable feeling to each of them. Admiration, remembrance, or even commitment. Lu Xing finished absorbing the memory of the one-armed zombie and learned from the memory that the other party was a level 5 martial artist when it was alive. And it was particularly good at hand combat, and with its experience as a level 5 martial artist, and its ideas and perception on the subject, it let Lu Xing directly break through the barrier and step into a new realm of hand combat and martial arts. He felt that his BQV had increased by a lot, but wasn't sure by how much exactly. Even if my BQV does not meet the required standards for a level 2 martial artist, my current CPI should more than make up for it. If I use the secret method I learned together with the natural breathing technique. The secret method Lu Xing referred to was actually a power generation technique. This kind of power generation technique could allow a martial artist to explode with power several times, tens of times, or even hundreds of times beyond his normal state and his combat power would directly skyrocket. Lu Xing directly named this the stellar power generation. Awakening from the dream state, Lu Xing opened his eyes. It's been a while since I last tested my BQV and CPI. 
I should test it today. If I meet the requirements, I should be able to clear the martial artist test with ease. It was the same old place where he went before to assess his BQV and CPI, Red River Martial Arts Academy. I'd like to rent the testing apparatus, please. The pretty receptionist stared at Lu Xing's face for a while and smiled. Brother, you're here again? Is it that you're so concerned about your grades because of the coming examinations? The pretty receptionist had recognized him. Am I that frequent? Lu Xing froze for a moment and quickly reacted. Yes, this was the third he was coming here this month. Lu Xing had no explanations or reason to give to the receptionist's attempts at flirting, so he only indulged her with vague comments and perfunctory nods. Walking into the familiar testing room, Lu Xing found a random instrument. It was just as well that there was no one in the room, making it convenient for him to fiddle with the apparatus. It's better if I gauge my BQV first. This was the value he was more concerned about. Lu Xing placed his hand on the sphere to assess his BQV value. Very quickly, with the soft sound of the machine, a value popped out. 15.632. That big of an increase? Lu Xing himself was startled. Thanks to his own thinking, he had come to the conclusion that his current level wasn't enough to reach a level 2 martial artist, but the value turned out to be greater than that. If he thought about it, with the aid of martial cultivation of supreme martial artists, in addition to the most advanced tonics, 10,000 years into the future, it would be strange not to achieve such exaggerated results. Now for my CPI! A bright light flashed in Lu Xing's eyes, and he aimed his fist fiercely at the strength measuring apparatus in front of him. Let me measure my relaxed state first. With a muffled sound, a value popped up on the screen of the strength measuring instrument. 3137! So high! Lu Xing was shocked for a moment. Because he had absorbed a large number of combat techniques and experience, his combat power index had always exceeded the corresponding blood chi value standard. But this time, the margin was too large. It was something that Lu Xing did not expect at all. Maybe it's because of the hand combat technique. Lu Xing thought for a while and quickly found a clue. His hand combat skills had broken through once earlier, and he did not get to test it out after that. It was probably his fist technique that had increased his power output, thus causing the value to soar. In that case, my ultimate combat power should be much higher than I initially expected it to be. Lu Xing got a bit excited and decided to measure it once more. This time, he decided to use the stellar power generation technique. Five minutes later, Lu Xing walked out of the testing room. He had a serene expression. One couldn't discern his mood. Brother, did you finish the test? Are satisfied with the results this time? The receptionist greeted him with a smile. Lu Xing smiled faintly. His handsome face evoked a feeling of spring in the onlooker's mind. Very satisfied. The receptionist winked playfully. Then I wish you good luck with your examinations. Thanks. Lu Xing waved his hand and walked out of the martial arts academy in large strides. The receptionist looked at Lu Xing's back as he left and muttered with a smile. Brat, acting cool, but he's pretty good looking when he smiles. Who are you talking about? A voice suddenly came out from behind the girl, startling her. The girl turned her head to look at the person who spoke and immediately stood up. Senior sister and I. And I Shuang stared in the direction Lu Xing left, and a look of interest grew in her eyes. She had seen Lu Xing when he had left the previous time recognizing him as the poor genius who had managed to surprise her once before. Did that man come here for a test? Yes. He's been here three times this month. I guess he's quite nervous about the upcoming examinations, the receptionist said a matter of fact. It's a student who came to rent the testing devices. I guess he's from a nearby school, this type of student, whose family can't even afford a tester, probably didn't do too well. The teenager behind Anai Shuang spoke with a smirk. The teenager had fair skin, looked slightly handsome, dressed rather more refined than people from ordinary families, and spoke with a natural sense of superiority. Perhaps. Anai Shuang nodded her head. Although the tone of the teenager's speech made her slightly uncomfortable, there was no denying that what he said wasn't wrong. Anai Shuang smacked the kid on his head, 
telling him to focus on his own tests rather than making remarks about poor people. She further said, The children from wealthy families grow up taking all kinds of pills even before they start to develop, their blood she value far exceeds that of others by a wide margin, and later there remains room to practice all kinds of martial arts techniques, widening the gap between them and their peers. The kid quickly walked up to Anai Shuang saying, Senior sister and I, can you bring up the test results of that guy just now? I would like to see how wide the gap is between men and others. The ones you should be comparing yourself to now are those geniuses in your school, the top students, not ordinary people. I know, I know, I just want to boost my self-confidence a little, senior sister and I, please. Unable to resist the teenager's pleading, and I Xuan reluctantly walked over to the device and brought up the previous tester's results. That guy was as skinny as a bamboo stick, his blood chi value is probably not even one. He's probably also a little older than me, he <laughs> he. The teenager's mouth was chattering, and his face was already beginning to reveal a sense of pleasure after his sense of vanity was satisfied. But when the data was displayed in front of them, An Ai Shuang's expression froze. The teenager fell to the ground, his entire body was frozen in place, his eyes staring straight at the data on the display as if he couldn't believe his own eyes. It's false! The teenager yelled up immediately, shouting in disbelief. That guy! That guy just now! How can his blood chi value be so much higher than mine? And I Shuang was also frozen for a moment. The receptionist let out a shriek. Her pretty eyes widened in an instant, and one hand fiercely covered her mouth. He was the only one to use it, today. You should be able to find his date without much trouble. The receptionist said. This machine, is it broken? And I Shuang spoke in a hoarse and difficult tone. The receptionist froze for several seconds before she reacted violently and blurted out. Impossible! We serviced it yesterday! Then that means... And Ai Shuang took a deep breath, trying to calm the shock waves stirring her insides, and spoke with a bit of hesitation. This score is the real one! Half a minute later, An Ai Shuang's voice resounded from within the testing room and could almost be heard even in the lobby of the academy. Find the teenager who just underwent his test! Immediately. Go now. Everyone leave now. He often comes to our Red River Marshall Academy. He must not live far away. There must be someone nearby who knows him. Go. Yes. Senior sister and I. And I Xuan comforted while secretly memorizing the appearance of Lu Xing that she saw earlier in her mind. Please go down to the Martial Arts Association, mister. Lu Xing got into a cab and told him his destination. The cab driver was obviously a chatterbox, all the way from college entrance exams to college, and then from college to employment, he chattered about anything and everything, boring Lu Xing to death. When he finally arrived at his destination, Lu Xing paid the fare and hurriedly got out, breathing a long sigh of relief. The cab driver poked his head out of the cab and enthusiastically said goodbye to Lu Xing. Young man, it was a pleasure talking to you. If we have the chance to meet again— I'll introduce you to my daughter. I should have told him I was going to the Martial Artists Association to take my Level 2 Martial Arts Certification Test. This way, he'd definitely think I am sick in the head and not want to talk to me. Lu Xing smiled politely and nodded, silently thinking, I hope there won't be a next time. Turning around, he saw the Martial Artists Association. Lu Xing followed the notice posted on the wall and found the window responsible for martial artist certification and proceeded. Are you here to take the level 1 martial artist certification test? The staff at the window studied Lu Xing's ID card and gave him an extra long look. Lu Xing nodded his head. Fill out the form 1000 yuan for the assessment, then go over there. The staff at the counter was patient and careful while instructing Lu Xing on what to do. Lu Xing filled out the required form, paid the fee, followed the staff's guidance, and entered the room labeled Martial Artist Assessment Room. Walking in, he saw a bunch of people standing inside, and an examiner in overalls. Lu Xing handed his form and found a corner for himself. Some guys standing in the assessment room were talking about a young girl. Lu Xing took a look at the girl with the purple hairband and felt that the other party was about the same age as him. Moments later, a sturdy figure entered the assessment room. Everyone present in the assessment room was amazed by his physique. 
The people stared at the young man, making his way toward the assessment desk. As he was submitting his form, a girl shouted in disbelief, Did he not come later? Why is he the second one up? The examiner looked at the person coldly and spoke. This person is here for level three martial artist assessment. According to the rules, he has priority over others. The sound of people sucking in cold air resounded in the room. Everyone looked at the scarred man with a shocked faces and a hint of awe in their eyes. Level three martial artist assessment. Lu Xing realized that in the world of martial artists, strength is paramount, and the strong deserve to enjoy their respective privileges. The scarred man walked silently to the testing apparatus to test his BQV. A number quickly popped up on the BQV apparatus. 107.25. The people in the room looked astonished. A BQV of over 100 meant that the scarred man had met the standard of a level 3 martial artist in the blood and chi category. Then came the combat power index. The scarred man faced the testing machine and threw a punch. The speed of this punch was so fast that many people didn't see it clearly. They only felt a blur in front of their eyes, and it ended with a muffled sound in their ears. Lu Xing's eyes flickered for a moment. He saw the man's punch clearly. The stance and the way the punch was thrown looked like it came from some kind of fist or hand combat technique. 10,831. A value popped up on the gauge. Congratulations, Zhao Chang Feng. From now on, you are a level 3 martial artist recognized by our Baiha City's Martial Arts Association, and you can enjoy a martial cultivation allowance of 30,000 yuan every month from now on. A bright smile appeared on the examiner's face for the first time, and as he recounted, the people in the room looked at the scarred man with more and more envy. The scarred man silently listened to the examiner's words, then walked back to his original position and sat down. Lu Xing gave the other party a bit of a strange look. This guy did not leave after the examination. He looked like he wanted to spectate the rest of the assessments. The girl in purple shouted in disbelief. The wind pressure created from the punch of a rank 3 is enough to knock down rank 1 martial artist. He is basically a terminator. Lu Xing walked forward saying, Hmm, is that the standard of rank 3 martial artists? The girl looked at him in confusion thinking, why is he acting like a big shot, after only withstanding the pressure of rank 3? After Zhao Chengfeng's assessment, everyone present in the hall was feeling sluggish, so Lu Xing walked up to the examiner and said, Can I go next? There is no one in line anymore. The examiner noticed that everyone behind Lu Xing was down after bearing the pressure released from a rank 3 martial artist. Lu Xing calmly stood up. He noticed that the eyes of everyone in the room were focused on him. The scarred man and the girl with the purple hairband also looked at him. Even the examiner looked at him. After all, not many examinees were of Lu Xing's age, which in itself represented talent. Don't be nervous, just do what you usually do. The examiner spoke gently in a rare moment. Lu Xing nodded and placed his hand on the sphere. Everyone looked at the display on the instrument. Some serious, some casual. The next moment, the value was displayed. 15.701. The whole room instantly exploded. More than half of the people jumped straight up from their positions, and the scarred man and the girl with the purple hair band also stood up as a show of agitation. One of the guys with a casual face even slid straight to the floor on his butt. Crap! Really, I'm not mistaken, right? 15 points? Level 2 martial artist? The machine is broken, right? I think it's broken. Everyone stared at the value on the apparatus with disbelief, their eyes sliding back and forth between the gauge and Lu Xing's body. Even the examiner's hand holding the form shook fiercely for a moment, then he quickly checked the machine. Don't be nervous, just relax. The CPI test can be done as many times as you want, hit the one you are most satisfied with. The others listened with a twitch in their faces. Lu Xing took a deep breath and said to the examiner, no, one will be more than enough. The examiner was flabbergasted and had yet to give out any reaction. Then he saw the action of Lu Xing's fist. The others too saw the initial posture Lu Xing took. Only the scarred man had a change go through him when he looked at Lu Xing, a fierce burst of astonishment shone in his eyes. He subconsciously took two steps forward. A dull and loud sound, 
louder than the sound made by the scarred man during the test just now. Everybody's heart jumped at the sound. They eagerly looked towards the gauge, waiting for the result to be displayed. However, the eagerness only lasted a moment. Just a moment. Then they froze in their spots. Their mouths were wide open, their eyes were dull, and their expressions were as if they had just seen a ghost. One. 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 The examiner's expression was dull as he tried to announce the result. He soon realized that he was repeating the number one. He quickly shut up and then quickly read it again. Fifteen thousand seven hundred and nine. Lu Xing was not surprised by this result. He had already measured his CPI once earlier at the Red River Martial Arts Academy. However, his previous result had been a bit lower than 15,600, making the current score his highest yet. After breaking through in my fist and hand combat skills, together with stellar power generation and natural breathing technique, my CPI had directly increased 10x the standard BQV. Is this fruit of my martial arts technique? Lu Xing sighed in his heart. After admiring his achievement, Lu Xing turned his head to look at the examiner. That's fine, you don't need to demonstrate it again. The examiner woke up from the dreamlike state, subconsciously nodded his head, and then read out his usual lines. Congratulations, student Lu Xing, you have successfully passed the level 1 martial artist assessment. Henceforth, you'll be a, you'll be, you'll be. The examiner couldn't continue reading halfway through. The reason was that he was unsure how many levels he should clear him for. Lu Xing had declared indirectly through his application that he was a level 1 martial artist, but his real strength was far beyond level 1 or even a few level 2 martial artists. His CPI was at an exaggerated level 3 standard. How should he be graded? Level 1, 2, or 3? The examiner had an anguished expression. If he did not handle the situation well, it would end in Lu Xing's discontent. And to offend such a promising genius martial artist was just like him saying goodbye to his job. Thinking of this, the examiner ran to Lu Xing and said, About your grading, I need to report it first. Don't worry, Lu Xing, the Martial Arts Association won't bury any talents. Oh no, a genius. Especially a genius like you. Lu Xing was a bit stunned but soon accepted the result. It meant that he'd have to head back and wait for the official announcement. Then I'll get back first. Lu Xing still had questions he wanted to ask him, but the examiner had already run out of the assessment room, leaving behind the rest of the examinees who had yet to undergo their individual assessments. Lu Xing was helpless. He could only shake his head as he prepared to leave. But when he turned around, a figure suddenly jumped behind him, blocking his way. It was the man with a sturdy figure. Zhao Chang Feng. The man extended a hand to him, his gaze burning. Lu Xing hesitated for a moment, then extended his hand to shake the extended hand. Lu Xing. After Lu Xing said his name, a trace of suppressed excitement flashed through the scarred man's eyes as if he had received some kind of glory. He nodded his head and took the initiative to make a way for Lu Xing. Lu Xing pondered. Is this a gesture of goodwill? From the side, Lu Xing noticed another person running towards him with his hand outstretched, seemingly following Zhao Chengfeng's example. Yet, behind him the rest of the occupants of the room also charged, with their hands outstretched, following the trend. He hurriedly fled out of the assessment room, almost flying out of there. This etiquette was amusing if it was just one person who followed and observed it, but it was no longer funny if too many people did it. Moreover, the rest were more like a bunch of cats and dogs than respectable martial artists. Just outside the Martial Artists Association, three girls were waiting for someone. One of them was Lu Qingha. Lu Xing went around the Martial Association and felt that there was really nothing more to do, so he was ready to go home. Just as he was about to leave, he suddenly heard someone call out to him from behind. Lu Xing! Lu Xing turned his head and saw three girls standing playfully not far away. The three girls were about the same age, all a little younger than him, and the one standing in the middle looked at him with a complicated expression on her face. Who would it be if not his sister Lu Qingha? Lu Qingha? Why are you here? Lu Xing walked over to the three girls. I should be the one asking you this question. Lu Qingha retorted in a good-natured manner. 
skipping classes, sleeping in your room every day, and now what are you doing here in the Martial Arts Association? Lu Qinghe regarded Lu Xing with a very investigative look. Lu Xing was slightly embarrassed. Even if he skipped school, even if he spent most of his time in his room sleeping, how did Lu Qinghe know about it? It looked like his sister was paying him much attention lately. Lu Xing replied casually, I had something to do around here. Now that it's done, I'm leaving. What are you guys doing here? Lu Qinghe handed him a blank stare, obviously unwilling to answer. At the same time, an oval-faced girl wearing a pink hairpin, next to Lu Qinghe glanced at Lu Xing and quickly introduced herself as Su Nua. It was this who quickly explained. We are here to accompany senior sister Yang Yuan, who is our senior in the martial arts club. We are very close to her. The girl further said, Xing He, is he your brother? He isn't as frustrating as you usually paint him as. He is obviously your older brother, a very good old brother, you too. Lu Qinghe looked at her two girlfriends who betrayed her one after another and fumed almost to the point of being speechless. Seeing Lu Qinghe deflate, Lu Xing took the initiative to introduce himself. Hello, I'm Lu Xing, Lu Qinghe's older brother. Qinghe seemed to cause you a lot of trouble all the time. You're the one causing trouble. Lu Qinghe became angry and retorted. The two little girls were very nice to talk to, and the slim one nodded her head with a smile. Lu Xing smiled faintly and stretched out his hand to rub on Lu Qinghe's head, causing Lu Qinghe's face to blush and have an urge to hit him. But before she could react he was gone. I'm so pissed off. Lu Qinghe tidied her hair that had been ruffled by Lu Xing and said with a huff. But a strange ripple rose in her heart. Qinghe, your brother's so damn good looking, ah. So tall, fair, and handsome, not delicate, but very sunny, yeah, yeah. Lu Qinghe replied in an irritated tone. Feng Fan Fan still wanted to say something. At this time, Su Nua looked in a direction and shouted in surprise. Senior sister Yang Yuan has come out. Lu Qinghe's trio quickly greeted a tall, pretty-looking girl with a purple hairband on her hair. Sister Yang Yuan, how was it? Is it over? As soon as they met, Lu Qinghe couldn't wait to ask, her pretty little face full of expectation. Yang Yuan's expression was somewhat strange. It was a kind of unspeakable complexity. Don't mention it, there was an accident, the examination was suspended, I guess we have to wait for the afternoon schedule. Yang Yuan shook her head. The Lu Qinghe trio were a bit surprised, and quickly asked, What accident? What kind of accident can suspend the examination? Yang Yuan said with a bitter smile. A monster demon. He scared the examiner into fleeing. Without him, the examinations cannot proceed. The Lu Qinghe trio listened to her with rapt attention. Why? And Yuan sighed, her eyes astir with complex emotions, saying, In fact, the boy about the same age as me, or maybe a bit younger than me, I don't know. During the test his measured BQV was 15.7, and more shocking was his CPI, which was around 15,700. Don't you think that's scary? I always took myself as a bit of genius. Now thanks to that guy I see the truth. Yang Yuan sighed, and continued. I know what a real genius is like now. After hearing Yang Yuan's words, the Lu Qinghe trio's small mouths opened wide, eyes rounded, as if they were all stuck. They were so shocked that they didn't know what expression to use. Sister Yang. Feng Fan Fan suddenly reacted and asked curiously. What is this person's name? Do you know? Lu Qinghe and Su Nu immediately perked up their ears and stared closely at Yang Yuan. Yang nodded and opened her mouth to say it. Lu Xing! Yang Yuan sighed, with a face filled with regret and lamentation. As she spoke, she suddenly realized that something was wrong. When she looked up, she saw that the expressions on the Lu Qinghe trio had become incredibly strange. Especially Lu Qinghe, her whole person seemed utterly flabbergasted. Yang Yuan blinked, feeling amazed, and was about to ask. Suddenly, she heard a sentence floating weakly out of Fan Fan's mouth. Qinghe, your brother's name is Lu Xing, right? And he just walked out of the assessment room. This time, it was Yang Yuan's turn to freeze. Lu Xing walked all the way back home. On the way back, he felt a bit hungry and incidentally bought home a dozen or so meat buns. He went while munching on a few of them. 
almost to the entrance of the community. Lu Xing saw a group of people hurriedly running ahead in front of him. Lu Xing felt the uniform they wore to be a bit familiar, then he recalled seeing them in the Red River Martial Arts Academy. A few residents stood at the entrance of the community looking at the hustle-bustle while discussing by themselves. Who are these people? The Red River Martial Arts Academy. I heard they are looking for someone. They've already searched several neighborhoods already. They went door to door. Lu Xing listened to the general gossip going around but did not pay the situation much attention. He only knew of the Red River Martial Arts Academy loosely and had been there only a couple of times. If the academy was looking for revenge, they simply were. It had nothing to do with him. Lu Xing finished his last bun when he paced back into his house. Lu Xing instantly went to his room and started practicing. After some time, he opened his eyes inside the dream world. In base 1359, he was standing at the exact same place where he left before. Lu Xing looked at the optical mind and spoke calmly. Pull up my biography. In the next second, a large amount of information was presented in front of Lu Xing. The moment he saw his picture, Lu Xing's heart beat hard. Then he knew that his thoughts were right. In the photo, the original handsome and resolute middle-aged, Lu Xing, has disappeared. In its place, there was an emaciated old man with white hair and a vigorous spirit. Life Summary Became a level 2 martial artist at the age of 18 and became a sensation in Baiha City. Later, on the recommendation of the Baiha City Martial Arts Association, he participated in the Dongning Province Prodigy Training Camp and entered the top 20 while in training. In the same year, he entered Dongning University of Martial Arts, ranking first in the city, 32nd in the province, and 145th in the country. Three years later, he graduated from Dongning University of Martial Arts and served in the military. Five years later, he was honorably retired with the rank of lieutenant and founded the Sacred Martial Arts Academy in Baiha City. Was promoted to a level 6 martial artist at the age of 45. Failed to qualify as a level 7 master in the same year. He died on July 383 at the age of 87 in an attack from the foreign beats on Baiha City. Sure enough, the future can be changed, or at least, my future can be changed. A week ago, I was a level 4 martial artist who died at the age of 37, and a week later I successfully managed to be in my 80s. My strength hit the roof at level 6, and if I hadn't met with an accident, I might have lived even longer. Effort is of prime importance. The saying, choice determines fate, really does make sense now. Closing the interface of the optical mind, a determined look appeared in Lu Xing's eyes. Through this verification, I can be sure that my idea is valid. Fate can be changed, indeed. But to truly change the fate of the human race, and shift the trajectory of the entire world for the next 10,000 years, the strength I have now is far from enough to achieve that. Level 6 past master is insignificant, but level 7 master, level 8 grand master, or even a level 9 martial sage is just too unreachable. Perhaps when I reach the peak of level 10, or even level 11 in this era, only then will I have the slightest possibility of saving what needs to be saved. Even in the future, 10,000 years later, the level 11 martial powerhouses were a rare sight, let alone in the current age with only a martial cultivation history of just over 300 years. The path that Lu Xing chose was simply impossibly difficult. However, he was resolved to give it his best. By his city, Martial Artists Association. Inside the chairman's office. The 59-year-old Xiao Yuha had black hair and a rosy complexion, and there were hardly any wrinkles on his face, so he could not be seen as an old man who would be a sexagenarian soon. But for a peak level 6 martial artist who was about to enter the realm of a level 7 master, this was not surprising. Xiao Yuha was writing the character, God, with a brush, and he was concentrating on it. Xiao Yu had once met with an old master, who said that he had accumulated enough in all other aspects, but only his spiritual cultivation was falling short. As long as he wrote 100,000, God, characters, it was possible for him to reach the realm of a master. Chairman! The door was suddenly opened, and a person dashed in. Xiao Yu's hand shook and a bit of ink fell on the paper, and the half-written character was ruined. 
Xiao Yu had glanced at the character with some regret, casually put down the pen, picked up the towel at hand and wiped his hands, and spoke. What is it? What caused you to be so in a panic that you even forget how to knock before you enter? The person who came in was Xiao Yuha's secretary. She was in her thirties, wearing a pair of glasses, and she looked svelte. Sorry, President, I'll make sure to pay attention next time. The secretary apologized embarrassed, and then her expression became serious. There is something important to report. The secretary picked up the document in her hands and reported the matter briefly. Xiao Yuha's face was calm at first, and gradually his expression began to change when they were at the meat of the report. Bring the data here. Quick! Xiao Yuha couldn't care less about anything and urged quickly. The secretary hurriedly handed up the documents in her hands. Xiao Yuha took the document and carefully flipped through it. Soon, his eyes began to gradually widen, and there were small involuntary twitches of muscles at the corners of his eyes and mouth. In the end, a huge splash of surprise bloomed on his face. After a while, Xiao Yuva's body slowly leaned back and made an obvious inhaling motion. A muffled sound came from the screen, that was the sound of Lu Xing throwing a punch. 15,700 plus, perfection realm fist technique, he said word by word. The secretary froze for a moment, her expression somewhat confused. Xiao Yuva waved his hand and said, this is the terminology of our martial arts world. You are not a martial artist, so you don't understand. You just need a little. Xiao Yuha spoke with a complicated face. What I know, the ones who have trained their fists to the perfection realm at his age, are no more than ten. The secretary was shocked. There was a feeling of uncertainty. Seventeen years old, perfection realm fist technique, tisk tisk tisk. Xiao Yuha lampooned for a while. But even with the help of a perfection realm fist technique, it's quite hard to score a CPI of more than 15,000 with a BQV of 15.7. Ah, the increase in combat power from perfection realm fist techniques are only twice at most. Xiao Yuha's eyebrows furrowed fiercely. He rewound the video and rewatched it again. During this process, Xiao Yuha's eyes widened little by little. 15.7 BQV. Ten times the standard CPI proportional to BQV. Ordinary family. Finally, when he saw it for the fifth time, Xiao Yuha violently stood up from his seat, startling the secretary next to him. That must be it. It must be. Otherwise, it's simply unexplainable. Xiao Yuha could not suppress his excitement and clenched his fist tightly, his excitement and elation far surpassing any precedence. Chairman, the secretary cautiously called out. He was soon done exclaiming and had finished his hysterical laugh. The chairman picked up his secretary in his arms, saying, Ha ha, Xiao Su. This time, our Baiha Martial Arts Association has really picked up a treasure. A gifted martial artist, ah, uh, it's amazing that one has emerged in our Baiha city. Plus, he is so young and has such an outstanding talent in first techniques. Ha ha, the secretary said. How rare are gifted martial artists, ah. Uh. Martial cultivation is, in essence, the process of constantly tapping into the latent potential of the human body. In this process, a few might awaken powerful abilities that are beyond imagination. These individuals, as a collective, were simply called talent martial artists. This is the only possible explanation. Talented martial artists will experience a surge in BQV at the initial stage of the awakening of their talent, which just so happened to coincide with the events that surround Lu Xing. As for his outrageous combat power, that far exceeds that of a normal martial artist, it should be the natural ability that he has awakened, it might be strength-related or something similar. Xiao Yu his thoughts were clear, all his doubts about Lu Xing dissolved, leaving behind only a sense of gratitude and joy. Thinking of this, Xiao Yu he could hardly hold back his excitement and joy and quickly arranged for his secretary to proceed. Quick. Make haste and arrange a car for me. I wish to personally visit Lu Xing at his home, pay my respects to his parents, and thank them for giving birth to such a good son, yes, President. Nai Shuang stood at the entrance of the Martial Arts Academy, pacing back and forth, looking a bit annoyed. A sturdy young man wearing a Red River Martial Arts Academy's martial arts uniform ran in, panting. Senior sister and I, how did it go? 
And I Shenag's eyes instantly lit up with a bit of expectation and urgency in her voice as she asked, Any news? The youth wiped the sweat on his forehead and nodded. Yes. His name is Lu Xing. A student of Baiha Third High School, a senior in high schooler. His father works as a porter in Shenxing Logistics. His mother works as a cashier in Jia Jia Fu Supermarket. He has a younger sister, and the family lives in the 15th building of Bailin District. Good. And I Shuang clenched her fist hard, her face showing a pleased look. The young man next to her was a bit puzzled and couldn't help but ask curiously. Sister and I, why are you looking for this Lu Xing? Did he piss you off? Senior sister, he's just a child. You don't need to push him to the brink. Shut up. And I Shuang couldn't listen to him any more and interrupted. It was hindering her good mood. The youth meekly shut up and did not dare to say more. While the youth stared, An I Shuang's phone rang. Got it. An I Shuang hung up. Her beautiful face was a canvas of complexity. The call was from her friend in the Martial Arts Association. I knew it would be soon, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. An I Shuang took a deep breath. Her usual calm returned to her eyes, then she strode towards the door with big steps. Take me to Lu Xing's house. By the way, ask my juniors to buy some presents suitable for elders and sixteen to seventeen year old girls. Let it be a bit expensive. And I Shuang had been desperately waiting to meet Lu Xing since the day she saw his BQV and CPI results. That's all for today. If you like the next part of this manhwa, just comment below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for getting epic content on this channel. See you next time.